The current space could only be described as, uh, buttery. It's a strange sensation, particularly on the skin. It sticks in the mouth heavily. It's, ugh, uncomfortable. Would, Riddle Arendite would not recommend her current location. Were she to recommend any location in all of the wondrous World 12 as a vacation destination. In fact, as she is at the moment, The organization of this space is built to almost evoke a sense of fun. Playful lights cascade across the floor, and space almost bends in an alluring way, drawing one inwards. But it's like wading through thick molasses. Every single step she takes, it drives her deeper in as the object of her search. A fun pursuit in the current moment dances away ahead of her. She freezes. Hair sticking up for a moment, almost like a cat, she boom, squeezes her way over to the side, almost to remain completely hidden. All right, not too fast, not too fast. She edges forwards as the being in front of her. Twitch is a long, unpleasant tail. Whirls! almost spots her for a moment as she takes one step too far and it skitters away down a trap door, producing a sound that could only be described as <laughs> Riddle sprints after it, slamming herself against the trap door, which squeezes shut. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. How many of these things do I need? She picks up a bag, holding it to her side. It wriggles and resounds with the same noise. <laughs> she slides against the ground and touches down, staring at what appears to be an infinitely long link of interconnected hallways. However, elsewhere. I can't believe you just did that to me. <laughs> I can't Surprises. believe you just did that to me. Surprises. Surprises. You bitches. <laughs> Surprises. <laughs> <clears throat> now, a good segment of the God's Blood Swamp of Belleth has been reorganized into a shape that is more pleasing to itself. It extends now up from the bottom of, uh, the bottom of the swamp to the top plate above, almost in the shape of a cocoon. But for those that stare a little too deeply at it, their heads start to hurt and their burn starts to skyrocket. The shape that's been constructed here, built out of the swamp, could only be described as a nonsense polyhedron, a tube looping into itself again and again and again. Mike sort of like steadies herself on the box, hops up with a burst of flame and touches down on top of the uh, watchtower. <clears throat> okay, uh, everyone's found and accounted for. Oh, really? Nice, okay. Uh, I guess we could start moving him out. Um, I think that's all of your family, um, Mr. Wisp. <laughs> she does not know how to address you. <laughs> she's like, uh, she's like counting on his fingers. And kind of like, yep, yep, that's everybody. <laughs> Mike like peeks over and looks at the, looks at the, uh, the, the freshly married couple as well as, uh, the rest of the wisps who are moving their way sort of outwards. You didn't have to distinguish. You just could have said the rest of the wisps over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Mike's attention is particularly drawn to the, the freshly married couple. And it's like, <laughs> wow, I'm so proud of her. <laughs> As an AI, she's uh, worked with the interns a lot in the past, actually. And it's like, you know, good for her. <laughs> This is what she wanted. <laughs> and... Oh, my daughter. Uh, yes. Uh... 
<laughs> Mike's mouth hangs open for a segment, and at that point, she sort of stops and turns, whirling. It's like, oh, hold on one sec. She floats down and uh, touches down at the, like, at the top of this cliff, the very edge of the brush, and there's something in there that's almost growling at her. Let me roll a dice really fast. No. <laughs> we started. <laughs> uh, I'm going to paste, uh, she's had it too good for too long. Uh, roll 1d20 when Mike's on screen. On a 15 plus, charge into the screen. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Mike touches down on the ground, and uh, this, oh boy, this conditional that I've set up immediately triggers. Uh, I, need, uh, I, need, I need tense music. This is a very important event. Mike's body arcs up for a moment, and she almost senses something in the depths of the woods. A creature moving about. She puts one step forward, uh, one foot forward. There are still two accounted for, uh, unaccounted for individuals in the woods. Her eyes fixate on the dark. <clears throat> now, one of them, at the very least, is Riddle Arendite. Certainly she could be buried in this shrubbery, growling at her at the moment, but... Mike has an assumption. In a segment of the woods that was hopped over by a frog, rests a semi-translucent cube of discolored space. It shakes occasionally, sitting stock upright. It almost seems to drain the flame from the world around it. Mike, trusting her instincts, looks at that cube and goes, that looks like something Riddle would wind up inside and has decided to, at least for the moment, count Riddle Arendite as accounted for. Breaking the cube is its own issue. But here, there's another individual that she wasn't able to find. A patient that disappeared in the middle of treatment. The pristine one has yet to be located, and with this small amount of luck, maybe, perhaps, he found civilization. Instead, Mike's luck does not hold out. From the depths of the woods, something sprints its way out. <laughs> With a great roar, it disrupts the foliage as a boar charges and hits Mike. She flies backwards, slamming into the uh, box down here as it careens away into the woods. Mike lets out a light whimper from the ground. Why? <laughs> Crib dislike moves his way over. Yo, Mike, are you okay? I... Why did the pig get me? <laughs> oh, oh, I... I'm so sorry. Are you cursed? <laughs> <laughs> you might be cursed. He, like, looks... He looks out there. Huh. Wait, hold on. The man turns around and, like, puts a hand on his, uh, comms. Hey, uh, Mike? Yeah? How bad are your boar wounds? Oh, not bad. It's mostly my pride that's been wounded. Okay, uh, hey, get up here. She floats down, and, uh, he slowly extends his comms, which are displaying a feed. From Ace Galatine's perspective, first, of Eternity walking in and rending the souls of those in Trailhead. Oh, oh my god, uh... I'm gonna go. She takes a step forward and uh, her wings tuck out and she flies over the mass, uh, disappearing into the distance. Yeah, I'll fall after. Watch out for boars. He sort of yells. He looks back down at the comms as. <clears throat> this call resounds out and over opiate communication waves. It's not too long before the entire organization is made acutely aware of not only Eternity's presence, but how the fight is going. The evacuation of citizens begins, but... For those in the area... <clears throat> the attitude changes somewhat. <clears throat> Argos, you are face to face with Eternity, yet at the same time. 
you feel the fucking g-force against your body as Verona sees that and goes, Oh god! Looks to either side. Cast, are there speed limits in Beleth? Uh, probably not for roads like this. Okay, and... Pfft, the car speeds down the road and Orgos, you're flung backwards by a physical force, almost like getting hit with a bowling ball. She... Like, she manages to off-road in her mom car to a hideous level of effectiveness. Meanwhile, <clears throat> on the surface, <clears throat> Opia's away team sees, uh, well, the report of what's happening down below. Trouble, your jaw kind of hangs open for a moment as you see Eternity not only appear in the middle of Beleth, you start to watch him harvest the civilians of their flame. You yeah, see. Yeah, Trouble looks at her cons and she's like, shit. <laughs> that is actually bad. <laughs> you see a feed of. First, from Ace's POV of him getting in there, and then it flickers out, almost inconsistent when Ace gets adjacent to Eternity. Then you watch as, uh, you watch the camera flicks over, attaching to Willow's perspective. You see him try to harvest Willow's flame, and then her literally flex her body so hard the flame does not leave, and she grabs the flames of the two people in front of her and forces them back into their bodies, saving both of their lives. Oh, right. Willow's flame is a sterile environment, so she can't have it removed properly. <clears throat> okay, that should be, that should buy them some time. You watch as Eternity is teleported away, takes a few steps forward, and then aloud tells Flame, uh, Ace to impale himself on his sword. A few steps forward says something to Saru, and then the last thing your camera feed gets is Eternity towering over Willow with a slight smile as the camera feed cuts. The treble just looking off in the middle distance. Oh, I know how that one feels. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble herself having been on the on the wrong side of a command word die a couple of times. <laughs> you stare into the distance as the situation changes, and shells begin to rain down on your location once more. And then, of course, why delay things? It's time for the next turn of combat. <laughs> so, let's get y'all down there. Not floating. <clears throat> there we go. This trailhead copy. There we go. So, it's the head of a fresh round. I am going to hit some of Eternity's abilities as reminders of what we discovered last week. Purification Protocol. <clears throat> Eternity will choose his targets based on his mood. He will lock in this mood based on his initial dice and stay with it until he's wounded or convinced otherwise, with one exception. Red, he will target the strong. Purple, he will target civilians. Orange, he will target the weak. Black, he will target whoever bothers him the most. And if anyone is adjacent to him, he will, without fail, target them. He will always focus anyone who's immediately adjacent. However... Eternity has a constant and persistent aura of death. Whenever you begin your turn adjacent to it, you sustain 10 damage. So if you get close and stay there to tank him, you're going to get pinged for damage. Uh, additionally, you have seen a few other abilities of his. Ren Flame. His red-styled action is to rip the flames out of people, stunning them. If they are not returned, they are killed instantly. Uh, you have also seen Spill. His orange action expanding his aura of death to 50 feet and increasing the damage dealt by 10, meaning anyone who begins their turn pretty much in a significant radius on this map will be burning to death from that. Um, and uh, yeah, you've also seen command. Command's the target. Their ex action must follow the command to the letter. And uh, that's more or less what we're rocking. 
I am going to uh, give you all the courtesy of saying you get to go. You get to go first here. Eternity walked up and talked to Willow. Saru is currently under the effects of a command. Ace is not. Um, Cal and the squad are evacuating civilians. What's your first move? All right, Willow, go. What? <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> he just thanked you for the fishing tips. Okay. Yeah, keep that conversation going. You're doing great. Uh, hello, uh, uh, Eternity. Um, I suppose I, I can't convince you to uh, not continue forward. He sort of stops and like turns and looks. You're with Opia, correct? Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, someone under my direct employ is also working with Opia. And in this instance, I need to make sure he is <clears throat> unable to provide a back door to a segment of my kingdom. Ah, I see. You don't want the keys hanging around. He, he sort of like nods a little bit as if appreciative of your understanding. I, <sighs> emotion. He pats his chest as something that is somewhat subdued for me. However, sensations of betrayal and insecurity run absolute like a cold vein down through my body. He pats his chest and then he points over at the inn that you know Basil took off towards. By the end of the day, Stein will be dead and my lands will be secured again. You, so you said you felt insecure. <laughs> Let's unpack that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Willow gets it. <laughs> I think there. I think there's not much for you to be afraid of. <laughs> okay, Willow. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eternity, I'm not going to count this even as your turn. Um, <laughs> you can keep going with this line of thought whenever. I'm going to say pass it to someone else and keep talking. Um, yeah. If you want to buy other people time, etc., this is functionally what you're doing right now. So, tell me who's up next, and we'll continue the conversation as they act. This is very fun. Argos, do something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Um, you're about to get pinged for 10 damage, so... Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'll just... Yeah, kind of, co as covertly as I can, I'll shoot you with a healing bullet. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I I really don't want to, like, get his attention and break yeah. the, whatever you put on the silencer. Here. Yeah, you put, on, you put on the silencer, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> you you scope it up and like uh, Argos, give me a uh, g you can uh, give me a roll to do. This is the start of a new session. Your shit's okay for a twenty. You um you aim down the scope and you perfectly through this little slat fire a shot and you almost like a sleeping dart <laughs> willow in the back <laughs> of that. It's like ping and you get uh you that will heal her for ten. Um, very nice. Uh, oh my gosh, thank you. And. I, uh... Oh, yeah. Never mind. Similarly, she already has tactics on her, so you can bank the shot to another person if you want. But then she'd lose her tactics. That's true. Don't want that. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I bank <laughs> it into sorrow. <laughs> Thank fucking god. <laughs> okay. You heal her How's up. This is health looking. Uh. He. Oh, can you guys not see it? No. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We can't see Saru's health right now. Sorry. Uh, Saru is at Saru was at twenty eight out of forty. He is now at thirty eight out of forty. You, you okay. really did top him. Uh, we, we um, can't see uh, Basil's, but I don't think Basil has HP. We can't see Cal's. We yeah. can't see lists. Uh, but we can see pretty oh, much everyone's. Okay, if you can see the players' HP, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. I'm good with that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll you'll show I'll them if they get relevant. Yeah. 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 Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh. So He's yeah. Got a lot of tactics. You managed, uh, you managed, uh, tactics up this lad, and let me drop 
Willows. Okay. You managed to... Oh my god, you've got tactics on Eternity too already, I realize. So you you fix Willow up. Argos, who's next? You can pass it to the the people evacuating citizens. You can pass it to like Ace or like any of the squad. You can let oh. me run so I can keep getting further ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, fair. Don't worry. Alright, so you pass it to me? Uh, yeah. Okay. So Ace uh, stops himself from stabbing himself with uh, Seagazer. And yeah. just slowly turns and looks at Saru. Saru. You look at him and you see that his eyes are empty. Oh, God. Uh, what Ace is going to do yeah. is like, hey man, you in there? You walk through the Astral Sea. Uh, give yourself a little bit of burn. Whoa. Like 1d6? Yep. All right. This is very good. Three! Hey, that's two teleports. Nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. You walk over to Saru, and you see him trying to, like, fight back against the weight of that command. He takes one step in this direction, and then he sits. And doesn't move. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Saru. Yeah. And I'm going to toss him this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a roll to do. Okay. Uh, so what Ace is going to do is just pick up Saru and just be like, get out of here. And when you snap out of it, evacuate those citizens over there. You. Boom, he slides like on his upper body forwards and thumps into the box and then it remains motionless. And then you see him stand up turn, walk back, and then sit at the water's edge again. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, Ace, I'm gonna let you perform another action. Okay. Uh, so, god, what do I do? No. Uh, Willow, Willow's talking to Eternity. I'll let her do yeah. that for just a little bit longer. I'm yeah. going to, uh, uh, just spend my five flame, and I'm gonna yeah! teleport. I'm gonna teleport <laughs> over to List. <clears throat> you warp over to List. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> Liz turns around and she's like, oh, God, Ace, hi. Yeah, hey, bad timing. Uh, but yeah. you're evacuating citizens and I really need flame right now. <laughs> she <laughs> she sort of pauses and she's like, fine, whatever. We can do it while running. <laughs> I, I, look, I, I will just teleport right back afterwards. It's not that big yeah. of a deal. Okay, then help me with the citizens. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> He's and like, oh. she, she actually catches your wrist. And... One other part of the deal. Yeah? When you teleport back, bring me with. She watches you so carefully for what you're about to say. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, give me a roll to do. Before right. realizing she's about to get left with all the civilians. <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay, so uh, you guys will get them over to here. I'm gonna... Uh, Cal, I'm going to move you in the direction of the civilians up here. Is that all right? Yeah, man. I'm here. I'm doing the <laughs> evacuation. I'm going to move you in that direction. Okay. Civilian evacuation in progress. Uh, I'm going to drop you up there um, mm -hmm. and move you over there. Good, good, good. Okay. Everything's going great. Uh, Ace, your turn's completed. List is going to functionally... List is going to feed you flame on her turn. Let me know when you would like that to be. Uh, who's next? Uh, next I will do... Uh... It, either Basil or, uh, Saru. I don't know which one. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do Basil. Okay. I'll pass it. Alright, I'm friend. going in the direction of the hotel. You keep running. Okay, that'll be your full movement. Uh, give me a roll to do to, like, push yourself. I'll make this a skill check rather than, uh, you just lock shit out. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're all thinking it. Okay. <laughs> Yo! You! Boom! Run, 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 run! Jump! Run, 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 run! And you're, you're making good progress, actually. You are... Beating Eternity by a good margin. I am um, beating Eternity. You are beating it. I'm so I'm so happy for you. Uh, over here, the beetle is going to do its thing. I realize it should do that during Willow's turn, but it's going to start evacuating people two by two. Oh, thank God. 
honestly. Beetle clears. Beetle clears. It's going to fly these two down here and then start making its way back over, and it'll do that during Willow's turn. Okay. Uh, Basil, who next? Uh, why not Saru? Okay, Saru. Uh, Saru's going to sit on the edge of the water, and he's going to roll to resist. Um, hmm. He stays with his head firmly bowed in position. Uh, Saru is going to then pass it over to Willow. Willow, you notice something. Oh. He's walking. And he's he's just, like, walking in this direction very calmly. I'm gonna walk with him. You move with him. Take that 10 damage. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he starts to move, and he's like, <clears throat> Why do you believe I should be more secure in my holdings? He jumps and lands. You can keep up with him this entire time. You paid the health price. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Willow kind of thinks for a second. I think that whatever plans you got will not interfere with the plans we got, <laughs> at least for the moment. Let's go! Uh, <laughs> he actually stops, jumps, and lands here. And when he lands, you notice it happen again. Uh -oh. The entire area becomes discolored. Uh, you watch as, like, one of your cousins... Um, you watch as one of your cousins down here, like, sees you pass, sees you talking, and, uh, like, he had, he had his fucking gun trained on Eternity, but sees you have it handled, and he gives you, like, he taps his lips and then, like, backs off a little bit. <laughs> we'll announce to him. And, like, he grabs this guy and jumps down into the water, like, get the fuck out. <laughs> um, he, so Eternity stops here. And, um, he, like, <clears throat> slowly turns around and, uh, looks over at you. My plans at the moment. He sort of tilts his head. I believe at the very least, Opia plans to survive, correct? Yes, that's our goal, but not... Um, the current thing we're going for at the moment. Ooh. <laughs> He's curious enough to turn and look. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, I did not think I'd get this far. <laughs> no, he's like, no, seriously, what, what does that mean? <laughs> You're planning you... to uh, create a new cycle. I'm not sure about the details, but that's generally what, what is going to happen. I can't believe we're having this conversation now. Get the- Yeah! No, get the villain's plan and backstory. Let's go, Willow. Okay, uh, so, uh, Eternity- Eternity stops and you do actually- You prick upon his, uh, his primary weakness. He desperately wants to monologue right now. <laughs> and as you- As you, like, look into the distance while all of this is happening, your squad is basically, like, evacuating people. You're, like, buying time. And he's- He's gonna- he stops. He actually does freeze where he is. And, um, he slowly turns and he looks at you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Creation of a new cycle. No. My goal is to return the world to the way it's supposed to be. <clears throat> a time before flame. Right now, this world is sick with a terrible disease. Flame has infected everything. A living organism that plays at being humanity. But it is a parasite that puppeteers the visages of those that came before. I will build a world where flame has been excised. My paradise exists so that humanity can be born anew beings that you are he points at you your flame is indeed leaking out in little tiny little rivulets around your body you cannot remember what we once were you are a threat 
You are an invader. You are a disease. <laughs> How does Willow respond? <laughs> Willow kind of opens an eye. <laughs> you, you say all these crazy things, but you it's it's like saying that if something's different, it's not good. <laughs> if I painted over a painting, sure, it's not the original painting, but I made something new. And at least to me, that's still art. Give me a roll to die and then a roll to do, Willow! <laughs> Choosing my red for the first time in five Let's sessions. Go! <laughs> Get him! Okay, okay. Okay. Drops his swing, you functionally change his mood, and then I'm gonna choose what he locks in. You. Huh, that's very funny. Um, okay. I got a math. Uh, he's gonna do... Yeah, just this one. 26? Uh, uh, hey, did I, did I, did Cal get a turn, technically? Uh, not yet. Uh, but, uh, you can, you can still do your thing. Do you want to do your thing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, because I'm thinking, I'm thinking, hey, Willow, have, uh, uh, you know what? Let's start with 2d6 and go from there. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna blow Cal's resources. Makes sense. <laughs> yup. No, tracks, tracks. Hey, Willow, take two extra d6 on that roll. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'll roll one. Uh, add 2d6, and then I'm going to actually roll a 1d6 penalty for eternity, as one of his stats actually... Disagrees with this current mindset. Oh, thank uh, you. Okay. Ooh, okay. 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 So that'll be a success. Oh, thank this you. isn't the functional equivalent of winning a persuade check. And he's like, "Damn, you're right. What you succeed on is." <laughs> oh, campaign over. He's gonna he's gonna monologue. <laughs> we'll delay him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you have you have engaged him in debate now. Um. Okay. I showed okay. him the swing from Naruto. <laughs> I know what you're saying as well. <laughs> 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 Eternity like, yeah, I know that swing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, the bitch is on purple. He's gonna start sniping civilians unless Willow keeps him super distracted. Okay, okay, y'all are doing fucking awesome so far. Uh, down here. Uh, O4 and Liss, I'm gonna say uh, it's, it's time for your guys go. Uh, O4, go first. Okay. The O4's like, okay, um... Where, where is the evacuation point? <laughs> uh, Willow points, and then she realizes she po she's pointing towards the fucking polyhedron. She's like, you know what? I actually think it'll be safer over there. Yeah, yeah. Bring them towards the Wisp residence. Okay. <laughs> she's like, okay, everybody. Get... Is there, like, an object that everyone can pile into that I can carry? <laughs> uh, this this guy actually runs over. <clears throat> this segment of trailhead actually detaches. Get everybody on. It's like a, it's like a raft. The oh. entire city is modular. Okay, 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 okay. It's just gonna start rolling. <laughs> okay. Give me a roll to do. Okay, so everybody's gonna rush on board. And they, boom, boom, boom. You put this down here. Uh, this guy's gonna move over here and he's gonna start decoupling the various systems that chung, cause it to fall away. Liss moves her way on and then sort of spins on her heel. Uh, and she, she like, looks up. Uh, she sees that the bar is still occupied with civilians. Oh, four, can you go help them? Mm -mm. Should I take them here? Should I take them? She points at this one over here. Uh, Liss looks over there. Take them up to that one. You guys detach. Make way. Uh, the guy in the back's like, okay, and <laughs> the segment of trailhead unlocks with a great start, and the motor starts whirring as this this segment of the docks pulls away. And uh, you're gonna you're gonna have to use your imaginations for this one, friends. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I move them away, including uh, good old Bow's uh, separate body. Uh, this guy sort of like rushes past to go get the next area. Yeah, like, I think O4 is gonna start flying over over. Here. You start moving in that direction. Liz moves forward. Okay, hurry up. All right. 
<laughs> okay, uh, in this case, both of you roll to die. Roll to die. Yippee. Yippee. It's time to... Wow. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, what are you... What are you locked into? Thank you, Mask. <laughs> uh, hmm. Just trying to see if she can sync with this. Nah, she can't. Uh, she... She just, like, basically, like, uh, undoes ribbon, presents neck. <laughs> point, 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 point. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No rushing. <laughs> Chomp! Uh, she's going to give you, uh, list how much HP you got. She's got 50 HP. She's going to pay 15 HP and give you 30 flame. All right, 30 flame? No, I mean yep. 35. That's fine. I can, yeah. I can supplement the rest with uh, absorbing my surroundings. <laughs> yes, no, uh, she uh, does not want to die. And then she holds a hand out. Okay. Expectantly, right. imperiously waiting. You got guns. I teleport away without her. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, give me a roll to do. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a pretty cool 19, bucko. out of existence you'll reappear soon <laughs> love to see it <laughs> okay over here you are uh this will be this will be the start of a new act uh so we are going to do cal now cal take another point and uh you know what you're you know what to do I'm evacuating civilians. We love it's to my see my favorite it. hobby. <laughs> I'm also Man. I'm going to roll through with uh, uh, moonshine. I'm going to try to make all civilians a little less likely to be noticed by eternity. That is uh, really nice. Give me a give me a roll to do for that. Okay, Obviously with do. the bonus. Shit, I forgot to roll to die. <clears throat> yeah, he's wounded. Good. Compass is good for this. Roll to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take another uh, stack of your thing. <laughs> with with plus six. Yeah, with, oh, with plus, plus six, six, so that's like a 13. <clears throat> that's like a 13. Is that still a failure? Still a failure? Add another stack. <laughs> we, we, love, we love cow mechanics. Uh, accounting for the well. fact that you're going to roll bad. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> now give me, a, give me a roll to do for you back. hustle all these people up. Yeah. What's that? Give me a roll for evac. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that roll to do again? Another roll to do. Ooh, plus yeah, seven. Plus now seven. that is a massive success. So uh, you uh, you managed to get everybody. So the big thing about civilians on this end of the docks in particular is uh, there is no area to like run other than jump into the swamp, which is full of, you know, fire leeches and other nasty mess. Uh, only a hunter should really jump into the swamp, not a place for civilians. Um, Why but... did they build this here? <laughs> you look at the polyhedron because of that. Um, <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> however, you look around at the area and you remember talking to the boat keeper earlier and due to some backroom deals functionally, uh, you set up a little exchange with her just in case, uh, well, a situation like this is one to occur, as it does when Obi is involved. Uh, you would have, functionally, the keys to the various boats set up around this dock. Your your uh, businessman's uh, acumen really coming in handy here. So you rush them all over to the dock, and they start freaking out because the boats are theoretically locked up. But uh, you move forward and know you got keys to all of them. <laughs> okay, who here knows how to drive? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and now, back over here. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> he, he stops. Uh, burn will be an important factor in this conversation. Uh, I am going to, this is going to be, uh, remember when uh, Argos and Fio went on their first date? Uh, uh, we're doing that now. Except it's, how long can you get the villain to monologue without dying? Um, so, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's hit you with some burn. Um, 
<clears throat> You've gotten to this level now. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> so he, uh, he slowly, like, he, he turns and, uh, he turns back to, like, the swamp as a whole and looks at the various motes of God blood, God's blood boiling out, uh, from beneath the surface of the water. <clears throat> What is new? What has been painted over? It's like looking at an old masterwork and someone painting a cartoon figure atop it. The beings that live right now, they pretend at humanity, but I have seen them for ages and ages. They did not begin this way. All life, your life, did not begin this way. From the very beginning, you have been pretenders. You are, functionally, the parasite. I have seen ages, long ago, where people were more insectoid, where they entwined themselves with grotesque machines to elongate their lives. I have seen people made of tubes and tendrils. The fact that your forms now approach human, but he actually fixates on your, your doinkers for a second, still have some inaccuracies is a testament to this fallacy. The cartoon is indeed approaching reality, but just the same, that makes it all the more sickening. He remains utterly calm saying all of this. Uh, I'm gonna ping that burn. Oh. Uh, we're gonna do this. Oh, oh that okay. was a bad roll. That okay. was a bad roll, I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh 74. God, okay. that was, uh, hey, Willow. Yep. But as you stand up, you locked in your red stat before, right? Yes. You stand up and you feel your new elements pushing back a moment of heroism, standing up to the big bad to protect all of those civilians behind you. You feel your burn lower a little bit as you engage with what roots you here, what makes you resilient. Your heroism stands at the surface. <clears throat> uh, I what you're saying, and I, I I can understand wanting to get something back that's not there anymore. I I was wondered, you know, what my old body was like. I fought and died for saving the world, but I don't resent my new body. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Even if this is fake, it's not considered human by at least this world's standards. I still see myself as human. Uh, Willow, give me a roll to do. Alright. <laughs> so, oh yeah, let me take the 10 damage, right? Oh yeah, 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 take the 10 damage. You, you say these words, and as you do, actually, something for a high roll like that, uh, I'm gonna give you a high success. This, uh, this actually won't help you massively with Eternity, but it'll have other significance. Willow, as you start to say these words, something starts to happen. You speak it out about your new body, your previous loss of self. And as you, as you say this, despite being at the center of eternity, uh, you hear a voice actually flare up in your ear. It's cast clicking your comms back on like, finally found a way through the noise. And then those words echo out. And Argos, you wind up hearing them first, and you actually hear Cast and you go dead silent, like at that exact moment. Basil, you hear that as you start to run away, and in this moment, Willow, that meant nothing to the man standing in front of you, but I'm gonna heal your burn again. You feel that heroism kick up to the surface. For every member of Opia, and God, there are a lot of them, that are like you, that have had their bodies lost or irreversibly altered, that have been changed by this fight, but have learned to love themselves exactly as they are regardless, 
you saying that to the very embodiment of their denial meant a lot. You feel your burn dip again as your body flares to the surface again, your flame equalizing, elements interlocking correctly. <clears throat> and at that exact moment, <laughs> Willa, who goes next? <laughs> Uh, did Ace, did Ace go? Ace is not go The second Ace goes, he will appear. <laughs> Let me know when you want Ace to appear. I, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling okay, you, Tiny. Basil will Basil go first, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm fucking loving this. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me let me get this music rolling again. <laughs> uh we are we are still in the shit. Uh go like this. <clears throat> Basil, you hear Willow's transmission and continue running on. How do you react oh. to that? Aw. <laughs> 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 you <clears throat> you start moving forward and you hear uh you hear your your malevolent little blue stat in your head go <laughs> 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 awful awful little man behind your eyes has a reaction i guess you didn't like any of that <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to ask you a somewhat simple question uh what is there to like um i don't know does it not speak to any nature, any part of your nature? Absolutely not. I despise every single segment of this fetid little existence that I'm participating in. But you. <laughs> <laughs> but you still perceive yourself. I did. Despite yes. the changes to your form. Hmm. <laughs> you continue moving forwards. Give me a roll to do. Go <clears throat> fast. Time to go fast. Dude, Basil's good, so good at going fast. I'm going fast. <laughs> Despite having no bonuses, this giant body trucks by, and these people are like getting the boats ready, and they're like, "Okay, load them up, load uh, load them up, and what the?" <laughs> boom, 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 sprint past while philosophizing in your head. <clears throat> Recognition of the self is honestly not all that it's cracked up to be. Simulations what? or different sensations can emulate self-recognition just as easily as self-recognition can grant some sort of pleasant enlightenment. What you might be enjoying right now are the last little twitching, pathetic gestures of a brain that is frankly on its last legs. I saw uh, how close you were to death earlier. At what point is emulation still experience? <laughs> Give me a roll to do. <laughs> Uh, you, you say that out loud and your body starts to slow down and your brain starts to like, almost like smear and go quiet. Like the world starts to run for a second and, uh, for a success, I will give you something. Uh, you hear, hey, hey, keep it together. We were in the middle of a conversation. Uh, you can move an additional six spaces. He lends you his power, at least at the moment. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> you keep, you keep moving. You keep focusing. You're almost there. You're so close, Basil. <clears throat> uh, you will make it on the next turn. If, uh, if you are, if you remain this successful, uh, who next? Uh, Ace, up here. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to appear in the air above eternity. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Willow. You're not on your phone. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fall from the sky uh, and Goomba stomp this man with my explosion <laughs> flame and knock him below the bridge. <laughs> You're getting him with the light up, Tims. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you place me so I can roll to do at least? Absolutely. Hold on, hold on. I need, to, I need to change the music. I need to get ready to change the music. Okay, okay. So, Ace... You up here, give me that roll to do, and I'm deciding what tone the track takes <laughs> based on your success. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <clears throat> you, you're splashing, yeah, you're splashing him with water. Um, okay. We're gonna... We're gonna roll to die. Okay. He's, you're gonna appear behind him. Uh, anyone got any resources that they can blow to help this man succeed? <gasps> I don't think I'm resources canceled. I can blow to help someone succeed. <laughs> <laughs> My God! Hold on. 
Let's okay. see. You need a. You need at least eight. Yeah. Uh, let's try forty-six. Take oh, it. Oh God. Okay. Fuck. Add forty-six. Yeah. No. Uh, Cal is Cal spending on you. Uh, that's fine. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yes. Okay. So. <clears throat> <clears throat> You appear over his head, and with both of your uh, with both of your shoes, you place them on his shoulders, and boom, cause a detonation that drives him down beneath the surface of the water. There's only a crash and a splash as the man disappears. Uh, sorry to interrupt your conversation, Willow, but I don't think he's really worth it. <laughs> That's fine. I was dying anyway. <laughs> List stops and actually preps herself. She's going to roll to die and set an action for when he does something in the future. Uh, mm -hmm. She touches down and you see her like, she pulls out her cello case and from the side of it, she's actually just going to, she's going to whip out a blade and a big shield. She's like, all right, well, I guess we're in it. <laughs> Uh, she like looks back over to you, Ace. There is no malice behind her eyes. There is such a quiet uh, acceptance of the fact that she knew you were going to teleport and she knew she was fast enough to grab you. <laughs> she smiles and you wait here for a second. Okay. Hey, uh, what's Seagazer uh, thinking right now? You, uh, she's cheering and screaming. <laughs> she loved that that happened. And she's like... <clears throat> Ace, if it comes down to it, allow me to provide you some backup, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you die, you <laughs> die. <clears throat> I, if you die, you die. I don't have to worry about myself. I'm safe. I'm somewhere he'd never touch. Which is something I'm going to use to my advantage. <clears throat> I don't understand what you're saying, but I, I hope you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you feel something shifting around below the, uh, below the boards. So here's the question. Mm -hmm. Is it time to give Argos a turn now, or do we wait until after Eternity's done, <laughs> done his thing? <laughs> I, I think having Eternity go and then Argos yeah. would probably be the safest bet, and because Please I... Please clean up, Argos. But, but, <laughs> but also, I think it would be funny to get slapped for immediately after what I did, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me let me double check. What's your, what's your purple ability, my friend? Um... Oh, I hate that. Oh, that's bad. Um, okay. Uh, let's... <clears throat> yeah, let's, uh, let's have eternity. From beneath the surface of the water, water begins to bubble and boil, and you see the discoloration almost spread like the outer extremities of a, uh, of, of, like, a snowflake as it slowly creeps its way up, and, um, he is going... Do this. Okay. 23. Your list. You good enough for this? List rolls to react. Okay. Um, so here's what list is gonna do. She's going to ignite, and she swings her um cello case around, producing a shield. And is going to use damned citadel! Uh she's gonna take roll oh, 46 K2. She takes 11 less damage as she sticks both of her legs out for a split second and punts you back in this direction, and you both roll backwards as she hides behind her shield, only taking 11 damage, Eternity recovering 11 HP. <clears throat> that targets everyone adjacent to List also, so her setting her action to do that stopped him from healing a metric shitload. She freezes in places like, all right, well, I... <clears throat> Any bright ideas? And then she'll pass it over to uh, Argos. <laughs> Come on, Argos. You can do it. You're I'll the tactician. Minus <laughs> 15. Keep you guys alive. <laughs> <laughs> Argos tactician, like, uh, the goal is to survive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the goal is to fucking live. <laughs> I guess I am going to target list. Oh, nice! Shoot a healing bullet. Okay, give me a uh, give me a roll to do. List tactics, etc. 
There we go. <clears throat> you can obviously, like, fire a rocket launcher with an ignite, etc. if you want to hit multiple people at once. Um, well, I like it couldn't hit. Oh. oh, yeah, you you couldn't hit, you know, <laughs> the one you really want to right I, now. Okay. Don't really, you know, I could hit Eternity, but... <laughs> <laughs> Him being aware of your location. <laughs> uh, List, will, List will graciously take the healing. She turns around and actually smiles. And then uh, you are going to discover uh, what List CSP does. That effect is doubled for her specifically. List, when directly supported, always takes double the benefit. She is uh, an exceptionally selfish character, but with support, is pretty beefy. Um, so you you see List's flame boil to the surface again as she bows lightly, and she squares up with Eternity again, shield between her and him. Oh, I'll create an asset for that. Uh, who next? Left to take a turn. Mm -mm -mm. Who's, who's go? Sorry, I gotta I gotta boost your audio up. Something's happening here. That's the uh, top of the turn, isn't it? I believe. It, yeah. Uh, who's left? Who's left, Saru? <laughs> okay, and Saru it is. Saru, please, God, beat a fifteen. Oh, thank God. Uh, Saru beats the fifteen, and he oh slowly rises up. Eternity gave him a very specific order that he was to sit still and fucking fish. And he's like, he stops, he turns, and he's like resisting what he wants to do most in this exact moment. He turns, he's gonna go help the civilians. Uh, the beetle whizzes back over and with its assistance, he will do a bad job. Uh, will, I'll roll to do for me. Roll to do for beetle. All right. The beetle's carrying. Beetle's carrying. <laughs> Beetle continues to carry. Top of the turn order, who next? Mm -hmm. uh, it's Saru went. Uh, Saru's gonna pass to Basil. Bazil. I'm gonna finish the journey. Oh, the epic quest. Going for the, the touchdown epic quest line. To the <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> Run! Get over there! Okay, give me a roll to do, Basil. Okay. You gotta roll good, but you're doing okay. Roll to go fast. Okay, you continue go Jesus, okay, Basil. You um you keep going, and like your your large body is thunk, 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 over there, and uh you make it here and you leap over and you touch down. Uh and you continue on, uh forging a path ahead. The voice is almost quiet in your head for a second. Where it's like uh, and then he speaks up, seeing the almost interior of the inn. <clears throat> That's the quietest yeah. you've ever been in my head. I'm actually somewhat curious why you're moving your way away from the fight. Normally, I thought you would you were one to indulge and relish in them, if the records are co correct. You hear him tapping a manila folder? <laughs> I suppose I've proven myself as a creature capable of change. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, give me a roll to do. <laughs> <laughs> Basil's just Basil rolls good and is spinning. She leaps and uh, lands inside the uh, <laughs> lands inside the hotel. Okay, then I'm gonna mandate. Next up, where are you? O four. Trying to find you on the map. She's swimming. No, she's flying. Oh, she's flying. Boom. You touch down over here. <laughs> and uh, you wind up in the middle of this, like, uh, of this bar area as everyone, like, turns around. Um, everyone in evacuation order has been, uh, <laughs> we have, uh, she's, she's like, oh, shit. Please follow me to evacuate to a new section of the city. <laughs> come on, come on, guys. Uh, the wisps assist you as this pile of civilians moves their way off in this direction. Give me a roll to do. Oh. She's like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and you start That's to That's make... okay. Have a D6. Thank fucking God for Cal. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Give me that D6. <laughs> yeah! She... Oh, lovely. Okay, so you will manage to... That was about to be very bad. Uh, you... Uh, you managed to get everyone, like, over and into this area of... The city. Um... Then, Cal, 
Oh, what would you? Whoa! <laughs> Teleports behind what you. What happened? That's what happened. <laughs> Sorry, I was holding her when the ping went off, so she got yeah. dragged. Cal, give me a go. Uh, add another sun. Roll to do to evacuate these people. Oh shit! Plus three. Okay, that's a twenty. Okay, lovely. Uh, Cal, you get everybody on boats. You actually succeed in getting everyone to the evacuation point. You alone on this end. Like, you've never done this. It's like, it's so funny because it's O4 and Cal, who are not, like, full members of, like, Flow, But, uh, here you are, evacuating civilians en masse. And, yep, you're getting everybody on the boats. You pile them up, and you turn around and you wait on the docks. And you... Jay, the granny. Where? Jay, what? The granny. Where? I don't. I don't see her. I'm in. I'm in layer hell. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. She's in, she's she in behind is. a lot of stuff. <laughs> this map is a mess. The granny um, decided. No, I will stay behind and fight leave, this battle. I'm leave Jiren to, to me. <laughs> <laughs> and Cal, you pause on the docks, and then you jump and land and. Boom, the boat shakes back and forth. And then over here, you three with Argos in the distance. It's your time, mini turn order for you guys. It's 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 time for like it's you're all squared up in triangle formation around the villain. What do you do? Well, I mean, uh, tiny. I, 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 I showed Aloha the gif about what we're no, about to do to eternity. I, I got an yeah. idea though. Yeah. yeah. So list takes double bonus for supporting. I was going to give her my dice. I was going to give her my dice too. <laughs> I'm going to give her my dice. Okay, and I'm going to okay. start my, uh, end my turn with stance stuff and stance stuff and pass stance stuff to her. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Tactics. <laughs> You're doing the all out attack? It, how I'm favor flavoring this is that we are just going at him. <laughs> okay, we're just helping out list at okay. every turn. Okay, 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 Argos, what are you adding to this equation? I guess just a, uh, pop her plus six. You're gonna pop the plus six for 2d6, and then you're gonna pop, uh, Willows. You're just, you're gonna make sure Will, uh, List hits this dude. Like, 100% confirm the attack. That's a smart idea. You look at him, his defenses are so powerful. Overcharging List in this one moment? It <laughs> feels like the best idea. And uh, so here's how we're going to do this. You all still get actions after this. So uh, for Argos, that action is free. Um, for Willow, this will cost. Uh, for Ace, are you going to take the support action? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be taking the support action. <clears throat> Not like the, the interrupt one, but like when yeah, it's... Yeah, the yeah. normal one. Yeah. Okay, so in this case, we're going to do this right. And then I'll narrate what we're doing and we'll flavor it. You know, like I, right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So, um... Willow, you do your turn first. You do the you do the roll to die. You stance up. You lock in place. You get ready to pass. Um, I'm passing for my six. <clears throat> um, then oh she's okay. Then uh <laughs> then Ace, uh your turn. You're taking the support action. Yeah, roll to die. I'm gonna pass them uh, my green. <clears throat> okay, you're gonna pass that green. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, then Argos is going to pop his thing. Uh, let me, let me, let me just map this out. Okay. Then List is going to rush around her shield as, uh, <clears throat> she's like, hmm, I believe I was left out of this properly last time. What was it? Everyone on two. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. <laughs> and, and then you, she jumps over her shield, sliding over the top of it like it's a counter as you both stands up and go in and you just start getting them. <laughs> List is going to wheel around and uh, in this case, this will be a clash as just talking <clears throat> as List is going to add this, this, this. We are looking at two, four. This is, the, you've guaranteed a hit here. Um, she'll clash and she will 
negotiate for the double damage because she's, you know, list. Uh, she's gonna ignite for that. What you load her to hell! Oh, what the fuck is that? So, so, I'd like to share that all those plus sixes, are you guys stacking the hell out of her accuracy? This is still only gonna, this is not gonna truck quite that hard. Those yeah. aren't all just attack bonuses. That is your accuracy that you just stacked on her, though. She leaps over and slams the blade down and tell me what you guys do. Uh, what Ace does is stab the green sword in the ground and kind of make the, like, ground kind of, like, go around his ankles. Instead of trying to control Eternity himself, he could probably control the things around him. <laughs> One just punches but doesn't hit, like, hit him. She just, the air of the, the, the force of the punch is so strong that it just pushes Eternity. <laughs> you push him back, and like, he ducks to the side, he puts up one foot, it's caught in the ground, you throw a punch, Eternity very slowly moves backwards, and List wheels around her entire cello case and just brains him with it, bringing it down, dragging herself to the ground, and rolling up behind you, and then, boom, Argos takes a shot, and she closes in with a knife and just jams it in his stomach. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a metric fuck ton of damage. Uh, she ignited. She succeeded on the clash. Uh, I'm not rolling for eternity. He doesn't need to. He, you can't beat that. <laughs> what? Um, I'm beat a 61. I'm beat a 61. He, make him do he, it anyway. <laughs> I'll make him do it anyway. That's a pretty good roll. <laughs> I think he can, I think he's got a shot at this. She... She deals that guaranteed damage, and then he's gonna he's gonna take his turn, and then we're gonna do another cycle of turns for these characters. Um, he sort of squares up, and he like he seems almost shocked. He looks down the, at the knife in his chest, and like almost runs a hand over it, a little surprised that this is even happening. He raises his fingers to his face to look down at what's happening there, and you see an almost look of shock. He doesn't seem to he doesn't seem to react well to the fact that he's bleeding. And he like teases it between his fingers for a moment. He seems somewhat surprised. And then it's time for him to roll to uh, uh well he rolled to do. No, he's just locked into this. Um Yeah, I'll, I'll roll to die. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my okay. god, almost all six. <laughs> This is why stacking your accuracy on list is good, because uh, you'll hit him, even if he rolls like that. <laughs> um, he sort of puts his hands together, and then he's going to clap them. Everybody give me a roll to die. <clears throat> this doesn't sound good. Even me? Uh, not you, not you, not you. You're good, you're good. I'm going to um, I'm gonna use uh, my once per session uh, gift to uh, max up my roll. Maximize this, yeah, smart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, Give me that roll to die with stand stop. You. Oh, yeah. Let me add the 2d6. Yeah, you you lock in. Uh, List sort of stumbles backwards. She. <clears throat> okay. Mike was switched to shotgun mode. Does it sound any better? Uh, Jackson, talk. Say hi for me. Hi. How's it going? Is it turning dead yet? Uh, yeah, no, he's definitely dead. Cool. <laughs> so, uh. Shotgun. <clears throat> you all. Oh my god. So you all square up in place, and this is unfortunate. That's a very high roll for a rather unfortunate ability. Um, he's going to... Uh, let's go, gifts. Mm -mm -mm. Where are you? Rend! Uh, oh, oh, hi, refund the usage of your gift, even maxed out. Thump. Thump. Uh. Thump. You all drop to the ground as the flame is forcibly excised from your body. Ace, you hit the ground via the force. You're still conscious, though. He starts simply walking. Argos, you're the only one up right now. Everyone's stunned. If the turn ends without them getting their flames back, they're dead. He starts walking. Can I use... I know my flames <laughs> yeah. ripped from my body. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> because I stand up. And <laughs> yeah, I immediately roll to counter <laughs> Dude, Can Rondo, my dead body counter <laughs> the fact. Give me a roll to do. <laughs> Willow, this is insane. I love it. <laughs> he okay. If this attack hits, uh, he he had to ignite for that. So I'm gonna hit his ignite button. Roll to die, and then let's see what he locks in. 
He has to walk in this one. Willow, you, your hand reels on like, what happens is he snaps his fingers and ace, you see Liss hit the ground as her flame leaves her body, and you see Willow's flame explode out of her, and you know what's happening. Your body hits the dirt for a moment from the sheer force of it, but the flame isn't reeved from you. You're not powered by that. You wait a moment and your eye twitches over to the side, waiting for the opportunity to strike. But what Eternity didn't anticipate is as he takes a step forward, almost to like just cross the list's corpse, Willow's body subconsciously lashes out. Willow, what do you do? <laughs> Willow is going to... You know what? I'm yeah. going to... <laughs> this, is, this is horrible. Willow's yeah. going to ignite, grasp him, <laughs> and you know what Hulk did to Loki? <laughs> <laughs> You reach out and grab him and your hand, like, he starts to like, okay, slow motion. Here's what happens. He takes one step forward after the other and give me, uh, no, no, I'm going to keep it with this. Your flame is ripped from your body and your body stands there immobile, but some buried instinct inside of you reaches out and as he lifts his foot up, to basically crush list your hand reaches out and just grabs his arm and locks in place your flame is still flung free from your body your body is locked in there and he's locked there too that's how we're gonna play this so willow's over here ace you are still up um <clears throat> willow and lists are currently severed souls argos is the only one with an action right now ace you will uh, get one at the start of the next uh turn <clears throat> <laughs> all right I mean, i'm not sure what this is going what this is going to do with me to me since i only have one stat yeah. but i'm going to ignite so i can use two strands of oh. fate <laughs> i'm gonna try and just like i did for me and cast tie tie uh lists soul back to her body and willows back to back hers. to her body okay okay doing this to some extent requires a connection with them honest okay i'm gonna i'm gonna say okay. for a roll like this uh you can fire out a strand and like basically connect the two like shooting a, a, a spider-man bit of web on a success you will succeed on this regardless but on a low roll there will be complications uh, give me a roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, uh, Cal, you are you are still on the map. You want to throw some dice at this? Nah. Oh <laughs> boy, red yeah. crab. Uh, roll uh, roll again, Argos. Six? Also, you got to do it twice. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Um, take two d six for that first roll. Add two d six to it. <clears throat> You. I am almost tapped. Yes! <laughs> okay, so here's what happens. Argos, you fling out your string, and it attaches, and Willow will be rejoined with her body soon. Um, she'll be able to act once it's her turn again, but her turn will be automatically sorted to the end. Um, List is a funny one, because your, um, your, your string connects up with her for a split second, and you almost get a burst of feedback from List. Uh, you get such a frustrated burst of emotions where, uh, on the external, List was very proper. Like, yes, everyone, on two. Let's get him all at once. And then on the inside, it is a wall of curses. It is literally wall-to-wall -wall just... God damn it, son of a bitch, motherfucker! <laughs> like, just the most rage you have felt from a being ever, and then it's cut off. As you reconnect her body, just pure yeah. anger, and for a second, like, dots sparkle in front of your eyes, and you're like, holy shit, she lives like that. <laughs> and you I focus... A therapist. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you focus back in for a second as, as, as your mind calms itself. They'll become reattached. Um, Eternity's frozen in place. It's the start of the next act. Ace and Argos, you guys get to act first. I think, I think it'd be cool to do Ace next, so I'm gonna say Ace. Hi. So, uh, <clears throat> List, List is fine now. List, flames List back is fine body. now. She's, she's right. being re reintegrated right now. It'll take a moment. It's still outside the body, but it'll take a moment. I, okay. 
Uh, oh, that, uh, hold on. I, I also just, uh, just this might add to the plan. Uh, chat's right. Everyone's marked with Argos tactics. <clears throat> there you go. Sorry, go on. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, Ace gets up. Well, I don't run on flames, so that won't work on me. But, <laughs> uh. He fidgets and tries to pull his arm away. He hasn't noticed you yet. Ace just kind of tilts his head. You can't see or hear very well, can you? You say that behind him. He doesn't turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> you see, he walked past Ace, assuming that he stabbed himself and didn't look back and didn't even notice yes. that he didn't do it. Yeah. He walked up to Willow, squinted, and that's when he realized who Willow was. Yeah. Yeah. This guy, due to sucking all the flame around him, can barely see, can barely hear, and can barely feel the world around him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are, what are you cooking? Well, I was going to do something drastic, but this is just too easy, isn't it? Uh, Ace oh. is just going to pull out the Say Sword, and just while he's too busy looking at Willow, just go for another stab in the back. You're going to stab him in the back? Give me a roll to do. Yeah. Boop. Fuck. Love to see it. His, uh, his defense flares up in this moment, and he he almost seems like, oh, uh, he almost seems, I, like, shocked as, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, st I can still pass this. Oh, 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 you can still pass this? Um, unless crit one means total failure. Hmm, I'll, I'll let you, so, uh, if you turn this into a success on a crit, crit one, usually I say it's like a, it's like a, a partial success. Yeah, no, yeah. it's like a success with the complications. With the, with, the, with the consequences, you see. Nah, I'll let it fail. Sorry. Okay. You're, you're like, oh, this is almost too easy, and your arm juts out. And that's when you realize, for a second, this man, every assumption you just made about him is correct. The way he interacts with Flame, the way he interacts with the world, why it's difficult for him. You look at him. Eyes struggling against the darkness, trying to separate Willow, trying to figure out what even is happening with her. And you're like, this is easy. It's like closing in on a blind old man. You move in. And then there's an instinct inside of your body. Seagazer yells, duck! And then you hit the ground rapidly as an arm almost subconsciously flares out behind him. And he turns around and his eyes actually fixate on you for a moment. There's a look of shock and then recognition and then... What is that? What is this feeling that you get? It's so strange. His eyes look at you, and an emotion crosses them. One that you are actually kind of surprised to see. You see him smile pretty widely. The attack that attacked, uh, that hit you a split second ago. It forced the flame from your body. It's currently recoalescing. I'm not gonna rob you of 35 flame, but as it does, your body gains sort of clarity again. Uh, your mind starts to go away from the place it was before. This person struggles with interpreting and understanding things cloaked by flame. And for a moment there, you weren't. And for a moment there, he could properly sense or see you. And as the flame returns, his expression falls, almost disappointed again. You've, you're lost behind a curtain of static. His eyes sort of, like, focus in on you. For a moment, I could almost hear your voice. And then, over here, Argos! <laughs> <clears throat> what are you gonna do? <laughs> this dude needs glasses. <laughs> Argos okay. adjusts his. <laughs> First of all, uh, is there anything weird going on with me? No. Because my soul no. stat is locked out. Uh, no, you are good right now. Um, so your body's hanging on. You get the feeling a stiff breeze could disconnect you, but you're fine. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. It's, it, you're still connected. Oh, it just feels weird. You're, it's almost like your vision's fading. Aiming is going to be hard like this. Okay. Well, gosh, I don't know what to do here. Handle it, man. <laughs> Just gonna <clears throat> kind of hobble over. Hmm. 
Uh, oh, I don't have tactics on myself. Hmm. I'm gonna scan myself. Oh, myself tactics. In interesting. Give me a roll to do. Uh, and again, let me. Yeah, you get advantage on your scans. You, you oh, can you're be right. scanning. Wow, you know me better than I know myself. It's, that's the main theme of this game. <clears throat> uh, okay. You scan yourself, and something unusual happens. Actually, you look over, and you're like, "Okay, gotta keep an eye on myself." Eternity's there. My friend's souls have been ripped out. Another attack. Your eyes unfocus and refocus. It's like your entire head's swimming. And at this point, you you get a you get a message actually in your head. The scan fully confirming it. It's something that was conveyed about five minutes ago. Uh, it says, um, well, it's, <laughs> it's a message telling everyone to duck. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been easier just to send this over comms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, you feel, yeah. you feel, you feel this response. Everyone. Duck. <laughs> okay. I'm and not it's at nobody. about <laughs> And it's at this exact point. Something happens. From the southern reaches of this area. <laughs> you hear a you hear a roar? I'm gonna As Something punctures through the darkness. It moves as swift as a shadow, yet is somehow even faster and more dangerous. Something breaches the darkness as boom! Uh, Verona's car hits the side of Trailhead, flies forward, and uh, Argos, give me uh, give me another roll to do. <laughs> Argos, you aim down, and uh, Verona had you prep something tactically. Uh, in the side of the car, you're like leaning out the window with a fucking rocket launcher <laughs> as the shot aims, fires, and everyone over here is blasted with a shot that'll heal you for an additional... Oh, uh, let's throw an additional 1d6 on top of this. Six. Everybody gets six back as the car splash and just like rests at the bottom of the swamp and Verona like yanks herself up onto the shore and Argos, you get in a second body. Two of your stats are returned to the combat. <laughs> Meanwhile, list stats reconnect. Willow, your flame reattaches. <clears throat> Verona, like, sort of dusts herself off, and she's like, <clears throat> uh, sorry about the rather inelegant entrance. Don't worry, everyone. <laughs> she pulls out her very real gun. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, uh, next up, Willow. As you can see, even without my flame, I won't let go, Eternity. <laughs> you won't kill that man. And you can rip the flame out of my body again. <laughs> he slowly turns and looks at you. <laughs> and you see... You see a look cross his face as your flame reintegrates itself with your body and his expression deepens. Oh, uh -oh. And his mouth breathes a single word. He saw excitement when he saw Ace. He saw another flameless being. But when he sees you, he can only say one thing. Parasite. It utters a curse from his mouth. Willow, what do you do? <laughs> Calls me a parasite. I call myself a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Drop that burn! <laughs> you square the hell up! I'm just gonna hang on. If he tries to move, he's not. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna try to he's gonna try to take a step 
He tries to move! Give me a roll to do. Alright. Do I roll to die first? Yes, of course. Thank you. <laughs> Unlock that dice. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't need <clears throat> roll to do. <laughs> Pair of fists! <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I need to remember how this mechanic works before I do things. <laughs> I gain a bonus to rolls to do and rolls to die equal to my unspent movement. Okay, yes, yeah. this is how it works. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure, sure haven't moved. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you rolled the 25, you rolled the 24. Okay, let's go. You <laughs> lock in and your fingers dig into his arm as... You feel something give way under your hand. It's almost like a cracking sensation. His flesh, it isn't spongy like normal human flesh. What you're digging into right now almost feels mechanical. You feel electricity spark against your fingers. You can tell that this being, at the very least, despite everything that he says, is also a far departure from human. He slowly turns over and looks at you. You keep them locked in place. So technically eternity has been added to your uh, character sheet as a gift or a weapon you can wield in combat. I'd like to register at this point, Willow has officially equipped the strongest gift in sentiment seen up to this point, <laughs> and uh, we should celebrate her for that. Um, but otherwise, he is uh, he's held fast. What's the plan next? Seems like you're less human than me. <laughs> oh! Oh, you're dead! Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's. Oh man, you feel the mauled in real time! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pass that to. Uh, who hasn't gone? Uh, List sure hasn't. List, go, no, please. <laughs> uh, List is gonna. So you've dealt that much damage to him with that. Okay, uh, List. Please, God. Please, God. <laughs> Uh, right, I'm gonna tank. I'm gonna die. Uh, <laughs> he is so fucking pissed. Uh, List will close in with her knife, do this, and then ignite, and she's going to she's gonna fucking throw a knife. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so first roll, dupe, dupe. Okay, this is good. You keep eternity locked in place, and uh, List pulls out a sword first from her cello case and swings it in on him, trying to, like, close in the distance and, all, like, use her full weight to almost drive the man back. But even in your grasp, he almost effortlessly evades. His attention is entirely on Willow, and List looks over at Ace and gives him a look that's, like, a look associated with a big sigh and a shrug, and she goes for the exact same thing that you were doing earlier. Striking from a blind spot caused by uh, her existing within the flame, she wheels the knife around and jams it into the base of his neck. And he stops. He stops moving. He freezes in place. Willow, you no longer need to give resistance in order to hold him here. Everything sort of seems to pause. There is stillness here. And as the man stares at you, he turns. He looks over at Ace, almost eyes meeting yours for a moment, as if he's gained interest in you. And then he turns and he looks at Willow. <laughs> he's gained interest in you not being a problem beyond this point. Chill, passive. After sustaining your first wound, you do not lose your first attribute dice. Instead, shift to your real character sheet. He... <laughs> turns oh. <laughs> and looks at each of you and is like <clears throat> very well i suppose the executions will begin today then he snaps his fingers and manifests edge of the world what settles now over this area cal you watch it almost moves in like a fog it sweeps <clears throat> over it sweeps over all of the civilians around you, and you see a few of them lose consciousness, bodies hanging heavy in the area. And this circle surrounds a significant portion of Trailhead. 
You look out at it and see Gazer shares what you already know, Ace, from the bottom of your heart. Crossing that line means instant death. There is nowhere to run. Right now, you are stuck in here with him. And we will take a break. <laughs> Uh -oh, <laughs> Welcome to the Fortnite Fogwall Losers! Phase one, motherfucker! Uh, Let's go! Let's go! Oh, no. I love it because I'm just sitting there like Lamau, Lol, Lol, Lamau, watching you guys like say all this stuff because Willow is like spitting like crazy. And I'm like, it's gonna really suck when she says something that ticks him off a little too early <laughs> and the character <laughs> she drops! <laughs> Like, oh, you just shit. had to be nice. I, 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 I was trying not to be. I like, love the fact that that literally just tells you he was literally just chilling. He was yeah. literally just chilling all the way Being up chilling. until now. You it's had to like, be sassy. Like, it's fine. I have to give him a little my, bit of sass, okay? He, was, he my, called me a parasite. A trailhead map be like crashes your whole computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't, dude, don't worry, man. Hey. <laughs> Wait, never mind, Tiny, we're fucked. You hate Battle Royales. <laughs> Argos is time to shine. Argos is like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now it's a good thing that we are, um, it's a good thing that we're on break because my computer might be dying. Yeah, uh -oh. A big asset on the trailhead map be like crashes your whole computer. Yeah. Remember, it's September. And if you sub, you can now have your own September creature, which you can spam in chat. Amazing. Amazing. Look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, are we talking about the September creature? We're talking here? about the September creature. How you, how Hold you, on. Just this, this month. Been... This month only, you can get the September creature. Let me let me play a theme for the September creature. That's right. Just for this month, you can ward away the September creature. Oh, yeah, look at <laughs> look at her. She's everywhere. God, God, she's everywhere. Look at those September creatures. <laughs> oh, positive fucking tidal wave of them. Everyone having fun? Yeah, I'm gonna. Everyone break having fun drinking all their milk? This is hype as fuck. I can't. <laughs> I, I literally can't imagine Ace losing. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot perceive it, dude. Like, he thinks we're trapped in there with him. No, he's trapped in there with me. Okay. He's trapped in there with Dr. Verona. <laughs> yeah. For real, Z's. <laughs> okay, let me, let me get some other stuff set up. Tiny. Um, yep. I, I was saying, it's just like, this sucks because you hate Battle Royales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> It's fine. Use your frustration and channel it through the force. Adversity <laughs> is what makes you stronger. <laughs> Adversity. Adversity. God, I love that emote. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> September creature is uh, really doing good things to me right now. Okay. Oh, thank God you took us off the fucking map. <laughs> <laughs> is your is your computer catching fire? Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. My computer did not like that. I see. Uh, we shouldn't be using this map for much longer. What do you mean Yay. by that? <laughs> Don't, worry <laughs> Don't worry about it. Instantly. Don't worry about it. Surprises. Surprises. Okay. You can't. It's, what do you mean? A, a third phase? I'm going to tell you that you just triggered phase one. <laughs> Look. Look. You were doing phase zero before. Uh, you hadn't yeah. even initiated the Z boss fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, six plus one, yeah. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. You got it. Uh, <laughs> you got it. Uh, hold on. Okay, wait. Maybe this is the funniest meme anyone's ever made. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Check this shit out in, in voice chat. I love, I love this empty tempered creature with the sunglasses. <laughs> 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 I'm so glad we've got two Argoses. <laughs> yeah, honestly. One out of, one out of rocket I'm, launch. I mean, I'm glad. Rona's like, bust out the rocket launcher. It'll be sick. I'm about to hit this ramp. <laughs> my, guy, my guy's APM is through the roof. <laughs> Dude, the micro. <laughs> 
My oh, guy's okay. playing fucking Meepo do Dota 2. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate this reference. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, the fact that literally Verona and Argos driving in to Trailhead and firing a <laughs> rocket launcher is not the peak of this combat is like a yeah. tragedy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a fucking realization. You hear on your calm CEO five. Don't worry, guys. I'm dropping the the, the supply yeah. crate. Don't oh, worry. <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear launch detected. <laughs> this this image has such energy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this session is obviously a, a chunky one, so it might take me slightly longer yeah, than yeah. usual to prep stuff. It's and, like, fine, because catch my breath. this session is sponsored by the September Creature. Oh my god, I love the creature. <laughs> Every single day. The creature? My Praise god. the creature. You Praise do not have creature. a choice. I'm gonna run to the bathroom while we prep stuff. Yeah, no, everybody oh, I should take probably it easy. <laughs> yeah, no, use the yeah, bathroom. Yeah. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep working on stuff. Everybody relax. Uh, oh, I'll, um, uh, I'll tell you now right so that it's uh, so that's yeah. something that you can uh, know when it happens um when uh because that was the the deal made with mike uh when yeah. mike is on screen for anything that she does yes. uh grandpappy will uh will, like support horn oh lovely <clears throat> Just, just so you know now, so that I don't Fantastic. interrupt things in the future. <laughs> also, similarly, uh, uh, just to discuss with chat, uh, whenever Mike's on screen, uh, we've got a special ability that uh, uh, activates called She's Had It Too Good For Too Long. She simply had it too, too good, good for, for too long. Too good for slightly too long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is the percent chance of a uh, wild boar to run from somewhere off screen and hit Mike in the lower back. <laughs> uh, let this me... could happen anywhere. This could happen anywhere. anywhere. The, the boar is everywhere. Yes! <laughs> I shake your hand. <laughs> okay. Setting stuff up. Damn, I thought I had him when I grabbed him. And then he Udo reversed me so fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is, this, this boss hype. battle's this is gonna be real. exclusively yeah. that. that was so this is so fucking hype. This is your fight fucking like starts there. Like yeah. <laughs> It was like, even if you rip the flame from my body, my body will fight till the end. Like, I'll vaporize you then. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Dude, no, that, that's, that's the fucking scene in the anime. That's the hypest thing of all, where the fucking final boss is like, I don't even calculate you. And you actually did something that makes him want to fight you. <laughs> <sighs> I guess I'm going to have to use an ounce of my power. I always <laughs> wanted to do this so bad, you guys. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna have to use that technique. <laughs> <laughs> then perish. Am I lagging, perhaps? No, you're good. No. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. You're you're fine. You don't lag for us. You're fine for us. Yeah. But for himself, uh -oh. he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Oh. Looks like it's just you and us, chat. Wait, my beetle's out of the zone. It's winnable. Don't <laughs> <laughs> I can watch us die in 4K. I think a fork <laughs> is like one square inside the cage and she's crying. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh yeah, trapped. <laughs> and you know that that fog wall's rolling in and getting closer. Of course. Oh, or screaming oh. and crying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it like constantly moving closer, or is it slowly? Like, yes. Set so, you know, and, um... and then it'll shrink, and then stay there, and then it'll shrink. You get it, yeah, exactly. You know, in um, Royale. you know, in uh, in in One Piece, in Desarosa. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's the bird cage. <laughs> That's literally it. You guys are you guys are getting sent to fucking Fortnite. Um, so uh, have fun. Game returns. <laughs> uh, it's 
What's, what's the game that Fortnite's other than Fortnite? <laughs> uh, what? Apex Legends. Apex. Yeah. Oh, there we go. PUBG. Okay. I assume every game is that. You act like we play video games. <laughs> you act like we play video games that aren't JRPGs. Yeah. I play someone who plays video games. That's <laughs> close. <laughs> Damn. Okay. You act like we play video games other than Ark Knights. Yeah. <laughs> for real, for real. Oh, the Ark Knights boss fight is over. That's fucked up. I. We don't had say so Paladin Royale in a chat where I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, um. There were, uh. Five. Uh. Eternity would walk for five turns, and if he was allowed to walk uninterrupted for five turns, he would get to stun and kill him instantly. <laughs> he had five steps of the map, and we made five individual discolored long pathways through that map. Um, uh, he only did two of them. Nice job. The Takno Jutsu is uh, very effective, as is get him. The list. <laughs> The wife is oh, always Chris. right. <laughs> that I still am going to try and talk to him. <laughs> yeah, I this respect you I so yeah. much. Dude, dude, fucking honestly, the fact that he's furious with you means it's the perfect time to talk to Maybe him. Not, yeah. It's like, at that point, you can say whatever you want because he's already pissed. He's already yeah. pissed. How you know, it can't like, get worse. Before he gets mad, you're like walking on eggshells trying not to trigger the explosion. The explosions aren't even triggered. Now you can just yeah. say whatever. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I'm gonna. And it's I'm like gonna... also like fucking 10,000 IQ for Aloha figuring out that he's like blind and deaf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fucking awesome. Except, that was fucking 10,000 IQ. That was so good. Except, uh, except, uh, dear sweet Ace. Mm -hmm. This man who could hear his voice yeah. for half of a second. I figured out that, that like, last session, but I didn't have like an RP reason to actually say it until then. Yeah. Yeah. Playing Ace be like. Um, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna just start clearing uh characters and segments of the map off so that it lags less. That's like oh, I'm I'm doing yeah. this I'm doing this for uh for for the Thank sake you. of you, you know. <laughs> Mr. Omen does not like it. <sighs> oh, your favorite Ark Knights character is Siege? I uh I I was playing integrated strategies and I used her from the like uh unit support thing. She's really good. She's good. She's kinda like as someone who doesn't know a whole lot about Ark Knights, I feel like she does not feel like a Vanguard unit. <laughs> 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 she feels like she's way too strong to be a Vanguard unit. Oh my god, oh four, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Man, yeah, six-star Jessica, let's fucking go, beast. <laughs> there is literally one civilian in the circle. Oh That's God. so funny. Is it, are they with O4? Uh, they're with O4. Yeah, it's one of the. Yeah, it's, it's, it's literally, it's a the, hunter. Group, literally yeah. the group O4 was escorting. Literally got cut. Off yeah, got at cut the half. End. Yeah. And I'm not cheap enough to just IK anyone because the wall got dropped on. No, I am. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wait, do it. I didn't know Grus gave me a, an extra gift with their name. Yeah. <laughs> what does that do? What do I get? <laughs> Touch his nose. <laughs> uh, when you need it most, which might be now. <laughs> <laughs> my um, my favorite Ark Knights unit is Shalem. I say Romilly. <laughs> People are talking about their favorite units in the chat. Okay. Uh, my favorite okay. unit is I like uh, Argos. the crocodile. Crocodile's good, Gabriel's great. My, yeah. yeah, my favorite Ark Knights character is uh, Argos. My favorite Ark Knights character is uh, Mike. <laughs> yeah, pink Mike. <laughs> Mike is Mike. a fucking Ark Knights character. She is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, man. So I think the way I'm going to play this session right now is we're going to do cool. status updates for the characters around the exterior of the uh, of the, of the circle and show exactly who got caught and where because I think it's funny. Yeah, that makes sense. Um yeah. and uh, then we'll then we'll do like we'll finish our little status updates. Then we'll check in with um uh, various characters in various positions and then continue the combat until you hit another phase break. <laughs> so, uh, that's, well, that's uh, so reassuring, Jay. Yeah, no. Uh, 
hold on. I've got to I've got to upload assets really fast for this. Uh, just just uh, just a few uh, tiny little things. It's a, this wall yeah. is pulling flame out of us. That's what uh, it's doing. Mechanically. Yes, it seems like that's it seems like that's what's occurring. It seems like that. Tastes <laughs> like check this shit out. Beast signs runs through, you know, collapses. I bet, it was a, I bet it was a situation where the where the fucking civilians were all running out, and and o, the hairs on the back of O four's neck stood up, and she grabbed the guy and darted backwards yeah. to not get killed instantly. I got hit by the fucking IK wall. Okay. <laughs> if y'all are okay. ready, let me let me get us let me get us good. Um. Force animal instincts. <laughs> Whew, I need a deep breath of a scene really fast. Uh, so I'm going to do this stressful thing instead. Um, <clears throat> hey, Stefano. Oh, God, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally <laughs> forgot he was here. Yeah, perfect. Whew, um... In front of you drifts what appears to be a lightly pulsating terror. It's an area where space distorts and everything seems to bend inwards. The construction in the area around is almost built like a scab, a wound in the world, almost to contain this thing. It's a strange sensation, but you feel beckoned towards it. Yeah, he calls it like, oh, wow, hello there. And then just starts walking forward. You look at the hole in the world as Septi sort of travels behind you. A little interested. Just curious what you're going to do. He gets closer. What, like, does the sensation get stronger or does it start dissipating now that he's here? It starts dissipating. Now you're staring into the, now you're staring into this nexus, this long colonnade of stars. He smiles, he's like, I was wondering if I was the first star in the swamp, but it looks like I'm not. Except he sort of, like, looks over. He smiles. <clears throat> Curious. This is rather unfortunate. Hmm? He looks over at the hole. And then sort of taps his foot on the ground. The swamp has been rearranged, almost like a cyst around this one location. <sighs> It seems like the exterior right now has been bent into an almost surreal jungle gym. It's a multi-dimensional space that's probably quite unpleasant to look at. This is at its core. He sort of points with the base of his scythe. And then smiles. It's rather unfortunate, really. Why? He starts to walk very calmly and slowly. Beyond that is the Astral Sea. It's a segment of reality outside reality. Now, I've only encountered it in passing a few times. When a world dies, what remains of it are frequently little more than embers. Those split off and create their own little branch worlds. Tiny little realities that also sputter and fail. Without fail. He's sort of like, works his way over this way. <sighs> Most main worlds, the worlds that bear the flame of creation, burn out in an apocalyptic hail long before these things ever appear. It is a sign of this world's ill health that there is one here now. It is a sign that this world does not have much longer to live. This is the fabric of reality tearing itself apart. The illusion is being dispelled. The chaos is returning. Stefano just looks at it like, it's bad for the world that this is here? No world has survived the appearance of something like this. He sort of stops. The only world that I've experienced that has had an opening like this appear is my own. Sort of looks across. We fought the war so long, it seemed like we'd won. Everything held to an utter stagnant point. 
You remember this. <clears throat> C directly confronting uh, not only um, the world, but Exolensis and beyond during World 7. The demons couldn't make much purchase. They literally found tactics to circumvent you around every corner. And uh, wasn't World 7, like, the longest surviving world? Yes. What had died was a long and ugly death. One far away from your eyes. Not many of the courts accurately record what happened to World 7. It remains a mystery even to you. You were banished from that place, and the world died on its own. So it was something like this that caused the end of World 7? Hmm. We couldn't see it from a, a down below. He nods. But World 12 hasn't even been around nearly half the time of World 7. But its health is significantly worse. Oh, is it because of the... I guess, slow start it had? Mm. Yes. That lack of God of humanity. He sort of moves forward. Yet this calls to you, correct? Hmm. And so, I have a question to ask. Looks at him. He motions around at the various bits of machinery. It seems like someone has been hard at work, making sure to build machines to contain whatever the spread of this is. I could likely add my expertise. After all, I've seen this before, he says with a smile. Closing something like this would be able to likely buy the world a little more time. Additional grains of sand in the hourglass. Does this world need more time? Do you believe it does? I don't know, I'm not from here. He looks too. Ah, then we might be at an impasse. <laughs> he stares into the void, and his expression splits into a smile. We should be capable of closing it at the very least. But, at the very least, I was similarly curious. Do you want to know what's on the other side? Yeah, a little bit. I don't remember very much from before I was in... Uh, not this body, but this body. He... his face sort of smiles. Do you want to see? Yeah, like a little bit. <laughs> he like put, he like does a hand gesture where he puts his hand like his fingers close together but not quite touching. <laughs> <laughs> the man starts to move forwards towards the hole in reality. And he takes <laughs> he takes one long step forward. <laughs> if we go and it's not gonna close behind us, right? I don't wanna get stuck in the void of space. He pauses! <laughs> <laughs> he pauses and looks annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking we could go through together. Well, if I go through, what if it closes? Finding our way back would likely be very difficult. It'd probably take a really long time, to he be continues honest. continues smiling. <laughs> and I don't... I have to go back home soon. So your worldly responsibility is outstrip what might uh what you might find on the other side then. Just want to thanks. Um, do they for you? Very little surpasses my curiosity, and I'm clever enough to turn it into an advantage for my bosses. Hmm. I guess. Maybe for me, there are one too many people that need me to exist in a certain space to survive. Obligation, then. Well, I was made with obligations built in. He gestures. Freedom is an arm's reach away. And then he calmly walks back, sort of like elbows folded as he moves over to this device and starts to, uh, muck around with it a little bit. So Devana just, like, peering, watching. Like, looking over at the, at the, like, big fucking rip in space. Like, 
trying to figure out why it was calling him here, I guess. Don't get yeah. too far away from me. It's so <laughs> you peer into that astral abyss beyond. Why was it calling? The sensation almost felt like it was calling you home. Is that why it's here? Impossible to tell that. Is it? It's trying to to take us back over. Is it trying to get you back? Hmm. Is that Impos why it like appeared here, or is it appearing here because because of something about the nature of World Twelve? Uh, if you had to guess, based on the disruption here, it's likely a natural event. And the machine in the back that it was like. No. Is that machine real, or is that like a facade, or an illusion? You look at it. Septi is sort of like cocks an eyebrow. Ah, that back there. It looks like a thing. Hmm. It seems that whoever was controlling the god's blood of this swamp was trying to study this. Is yes, it a thing? It's... Hmm. At the very least, it's probably full of great information. He moves over and hops and starts to crawl his way up to the top. And he pauses there as, of course, the relative silence is momentarily uh, disrupted by someone <coughs> loudly clearing their throat. <coughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? The, the man, like, lightly... Oh. Taps Stefano, his foot repeatedly, like, looking up and over at you. <laughs> Stefano turns around, like, not having realized he was there, and goes, Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> well, it actually felt rude for me to stay any longer. I was going to rush in and say, No, don't leave. You still have obligations back here, but it seems like you've actually got a handle on that. <laughs> he sort of, like, shakes his head. <laughs> Stefano, <laughs> Stefano squints at him <laughs> like <laughs> if I decided to leave you were not going to let me leave I was going to try to convince you to stay yeah he moves his, he moves <laughs> his way over the machine from one side to the other considering thinking hmm. I thought hmm <laughs> Makes his way back over to this machine. Except he like ducks down and is like, well, I'll get this a cop uh, I'll get a copy back to who I'm working for. He like slowly reaches out a hand and he like functionally hands you a USB stick. Oh, looks over at him. Oh thank you. He smiles. Well, it was a short time together, but I have to say I rather enjoyed myself. I release my effect on you if you release yours on me. All right. Okay. Uh, count of three. three. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Uh, you count up to three, and he actually shockingly does so. Yeah, Stefano does as well. <laughs> Stefano does as well because if he didn't, then it would immediately yeah. proc again. So yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> Stefano backs up immediately, just like. Okay. Stefano <laughs> moves his way over here. <clears throat> it seems that this. Swamp has lost its local administrator. It seems. He pauses. Oh, she's taken him away. Delightful. This facility will likely be left abandoned. This hole will grow. I've got what I came here for. But I am curious what choice you make. Smiles over at you. About closing it or leaving it here? Or walking through. He hops, jumps, and disappears into the shadows. Yeah, Stefano, Stefano <laughs> is like, it's the thing of everyone's like, oh, what if you go through, what if you go through? And he's like, oh, well, I have things I need to do, but, like, he keeps looking yeah! at it again. <laughs> he's like, huh, I mean, it is kind of purple, though. <laughs> he, like, looks down at this machine he's sitting on, and he's like, He's, there's a part of him that's like, maybe if I look through the information that's stored here, I can figure out, like, it's, the issue that Stefano keeps running into is that when he called out 
to the sections of reality that he then formed into his identity. All of those parts, because strangers are formed from the, from things that aren't sentient being given sentience. He weirdly doesn't remember anything from, like, before he crossed through the door. And he's always been curious, but he's like, well, what if it's worse and not better? Yup. <laughs> you turn these thoughts over in your mind as you hear someone scrambling up the tubes next to you. Uh, hey, move over. Why? Uh, can I sit? <laughs> He's like halfway up. I squints at him. What? Hmm. I'm deciding. I'm deciding <laughs> if I'm going to let you come talk to me or not. You're gonna literally leave me hanging in front of the yawning void. Maybe. <laughs> he stares into it and like taps the side. <sighs> Have it your way. <laughs> and you both just sit and watch into the dancing stars ahead of you. We'll, che we'll check in. We'll That's check such in a, a weird bit. prompt for him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Surpri <laughs> surprises. <laughs> Speaking of the administrator of this local area, Basil. That's in me. That is indeed in you. But, uh... Huh. Is he right now? You... What you feel... Is fog and weight. You feel... Empty. Cold. Nothingness. You feel... Utter emptiness. What... Happened? Your eyes adjust. What do you hear? You hear the sounds of a child crying. Your eyes barely maintain focus as they scan across the hotel. That wave of smog cuts straight through here. You can even look at the exact line where it began. People on the far side of the room begin to rush in. Your body's so heavy, so cold. The fog wall touched you. You hear Presley sobbing, flitting between you and her uncle. Ah, oh, jeez. And your consciousness, again, I'd say it fades, but no, something different happens. It, uh, sharpens. As? You find yourself sitting in front of a man's desk. Gosh dang it. <laughs> All right. Basiliskid. That is the name you'd officially like to go by, correct? Yeah, that's fine. I don't need to be big right now. He snaps his fingers. <laughs> 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 Do you know what happened? Um, if I had to assume Eternity emitted something that took over the area. That makes everything very easy. Sit down. <laughs> it's sort of like gestures to the chair in front of him. All right. Okay. And what was it that stopped me from reaching my destination then? It was... It seems that you were rather unlucky with exactly when his attack deployed. Um, frustrating. All right. So I'm going to make one thing abundantly clear. I, uh, I had one professional duty. I fulfilled it to the letter. I have already killed one god. And yeah, well, still... Congratulations. Thank you. He genuinely seems to appreciate that. Like, he gives you a slight curt nod, at least in acknowledgement of his professionalism. That was ages ago. Unfortunately, so then, what is it that you're going to do with the rest of your life? My plan, uh, what I was constructed to do. I was simply meant to drift away, become nothingness, submit my report, and move on with my life. I recorded a wide variety of different details related to the end of the world, but 
They're almost irrelevant now, aren't they? <laughs> He's sort of size. The thick mock of Belleth managed to preserve myself. I'm supposed to dissolve on contact with the air. There wasn't very much air down there. So, I have watched and waited. And now, I've been given a second opportunity. An utterly delightful opportunity that I loathe to the very core of my being. Basilisk kid. My job was completed once. Drive the god of gravity utterly mad. I created a facade for myself. He taps a, he taps his chest. Uh, a, a demeanor that it would find as frustrating as physically possible. Something that could loathe it at every moment of every day. And here I am. Coincidence. A couple of all coincidences drawn into you. Mankind's absent god of humanity. The one who didn't answer the call. The one who made all the complications for the rest of this world. You. The absentee parent. I am here now. I'm not here to drive you mad. I was not designed to drive you mad. And yet I find myself in a position that, again, I am bound up in close proximity to a god. So, Basilisk Kid, I want to make one thing abundantly clear about our relationship. I am going to gnaw on the edges of your sanity until your personality, your identity, becomes a tattered quilt. That is our professional arrangement. Understandable. <clears throat> what can I call you? <laughs> call me whatever you wish. I am your demon. There is oh. one slight issue with that right here, right now. And that issue is? Your body is dying while I am not. Someone else is doing my job for me. Well, then and I... You can't just let that happen, can you? No, I despise that. So here's what we're going to do. With enough willpower... You should be able to control the god's blood, same as I. We are cut from a similar cloth, after all. Right. So. I don't seem to have willpower in short supply, so let's work together. Let's work together on this for now. Let's focus on something primarily. Let's make sure you live through this moment, at the very least. I... <laughs> oh my god, he throws a bunch of cue cards over his shoulder. I had an entire speech prepared. You're so much more cooperative. Oh my god. Um, What did you expect me to thrash against this? Yes. To struggle. Um, Unfortunately for you, this is in a way what I was looking for. Um, I didn't <laughs> quite understand what you were until I consumed you and made you a part of myself. But um, as much as you're going to hate to hear this, you're doing me a great service. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. You feel it from the core of your being. He hates this. <laughs> he hates these words you just said to him. But there's one thing he dislikes more. Unprofessionalism. <laughs> <laughs> so he slicks back his hair and he sets himself in place. At the very least, let's get your eyes up and running again. Let's look at the current situation. Your body is motionless. You still hang on the floor. You see Presley moving back and forth. Um, everyone else here uh, is being tended to, but you see the flames slowly drifting away from their bodies. Without help, these people will unfortunately perish. Presley seems to be okay, though. But her uncle, you notice the same affliction happening around him. Flames pour over the room. Uh, it's a slaughter. All right. So... Call upon a little segment of that power. What are we going to do to, at the very least, fix you? Actually, no. Uh, hold on. He stands up. He picks up a cue card. <clears throat> Look at all those individuals around you right now, Basilisk Kid. You could save them if you were able. Just lean into it a little bit. Lean into your godly nature. Let's tease it out, okay? With the ability of the god's blood that you are now providing me with? Oh, I'm not providing you anything. The swamp. 
is rich with the stuff. You won't be as strong as God. No, 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 no. But for a small burst of power, you're in exactly the right spot. Okay. Um, so, can, can I move? You, you'll need to decide that for yourself. Are you going to create the ability for yourself to move? Well, I'm thinking. You're thinking. Therefore, I'm not dead. You're thinking, therefore you're not dead. You're not dead, therefore... Therefore, I can be more? That is the advantage of life, yes? To grow? Yes. To change? I will grow. I don't Jeez. need to move. <laughs> I don't need to incorporate this entire hotel. <laughs> that is the worst thing you could ever say. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, horrible. Okay. Yeah. That's a nightmare. <laughs> I think I know how I'm going to complete this mission. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Okay. And okay, thankfully, but... I have all of the fuel in the world to do it. God, so you're gonna... Um, okay, okay, here's what happens. Your body, your your exterior, these clothes can only go so far, so yeah. instead, your, your brain, encased in a little container, thanks to say, slops out, hits the ground, and the <laughs> shadow starts to just spread. <laughs> it spreads through the room and starts to sweep around covering everything in a pitch dark curtain now here's this fascinating yeah. thing that i've learned about yeah, yeah. the nature of things yeah, recently yeah. yeah is that you know the, the body is less of a permanent still thing and more of a a tube yeah a flame is constantly moving through time isn't it it truly is so, in theory, if I wanted to be somewhere else, I just have to perceive myself as somewhere different in time. <laughs> You're going to try to trace your own little flame trail. Yeah. Uh, if I think about something I know very well, say, okay. I don't know, home, Cam's yeah. Tower. Cam's Tower. And I perceive myself as everything in this hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All I have to do is perceive harder than the concept of time. <laughs> you need to push back against the world, whatever rules and regulations it puts in place to, uh, to make this pop. That's fucking delightful. Okay. So, Basil, in order to do this, you're going to spend one of your three gimme abilities. Yeah, sure. What this does, mechanically speaking, is, Basil, you can jump back to a place that you've been before. That's the condition. You need to have been there before. But the second you're there, you can jump back. This isn't time travel or anything of the sort. This no. is you retracing your steps and remembering where that step was. Okay. We only perceive time as a straight line. But is it really? This is going to result in something utterly fucking deranged, but uh, yeah. we, we love that from Basil. Okay. You should expect so, nothing less. <laughs> okay. Everybody get ready for the situation to get even more fucking complicated. Uh, hey, Roma, you on call? You here? Is she present? about to teleport all of these people? It's okay. <laughs> You're gonna see. You're gonna see. <laughs> oh, good fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Basil, your body sweeps its way around the inside and... Like, you en encompass the entire interior of um the the, 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 the hotel. And you start to trace yourself back through time. You, you, think, you think about exactly where you walked, exactly what happened, right? Mm -hmm. And 
but all you focus on is Presley's cries. And, um, you. <clears throat> what happens is you feel your ability work without a, without a fucking shadow of a doubt. But, let me grab this. I have, a, I have several questions. Can I DM you? Yeah. Grab this. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> okay, can <clears throat> can I get some clarification on on these questions, please? <laughs> <laughs> Me trying to look at what Brennan is saying and conceptualize it. Just go on the journey. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. So here's what's gonna happen, and this is this is why I got you on call. Uh, it's okay. Okay. You you spread yourself across this hotel. I need to capture these people. I need to capture these flames. I need to I need to make sure that everyone here makes it out okay. And your body moves backwards, and then. You you experience a strange fucking sensation where you start to drag your body backwards along the path that you've traveled. If Argos were here, we'd call this ability something akin to fast travel in a video game. Places that you've been are marked as waypoints on your map, and you can simply move there, right? I don't focus. Get it. I'm not a nerd. <laughs> you focus on it to the best of your abilities, and you you hone in extremely hard and. You draw it out, and as you start to travel, a fish hook gets put in you. And you get dragged and dragged and dragged and dragged, and you're like, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. And then you remember something about long-range teleportation at this exact moment. Basil, your eyes flare open. You recognize this place. Oh. <laughs> Somebody turned it off. <laughs> you, you look, you look around. Oh, oh right. You remember the way that Seder was ambushed. You remember that anyone traveling a long distance via teleportation right now is sent to one very specific location. Uh, someone slithers up through the grates and is like, whoa, 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 wait, 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 hold still, hold still, hold the fuck still. Oh, <laughs> hello. Okay. Oh my god, you're, you're back so you're back so soon. Okay. This cool. is fine. Stein yeah. is within me and he needs to go. What? <laughs> Nectar's mouth hangs open for a second. What the fuck? Okay, she's like looking around. You're you're goddamn lucky our boss is distracted somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I was just there. Okay, okay. Oh. She Nectar puts her head in her hands. Look, I got somewhere to be soon, so we're gonna sort this out. Where do you wanna go? I guess, I guess Stein will help you decide that. Okay, come on. She holds out a hand. Okay, thank you. She's um, gonna I'm going to I'm, I'm going to press everything down so that I can fit into doors. Horrifying. There are people inside of you, Basil. <laughs> Nectar leads you away via the hand and you're quickly like secreted away to another segment of the derelict. What happens is you and you and Flamace actually managed to entirely meet each other. Um what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, or you entire uh, you managed to miss each other. Sorry. God. Oh, 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 I was yeah, like, yeah, what? <laughs> Jesus. What happens instead is <laughs> over here. <clears throat> slither, slither. She continues leading you away by the hand. Wait. <clears throat> is she about to? Makes her way down here, knocks on a door. Hey. Click. <laughs> hey, so complicated situation. We got a guy we need you to get out of here ASAP, okay? Uh, do you want me to just bring them to the hideout? Yeah, uh, just, I don't care. Just they need to not be here. They need Fine. to not be here. <laughs> Holds out squeaky like a toy. Picks up Squeaky like a toy, puts Squeaky <laughs> under arm, walks through door. <laughs> door. 
There are many lives within me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking horrible. God. <laughs> Every person is their own universe. <laughs> <laughs> Nectar, Nectar, like, instinctively goes to, like, her pocket for, like, a, for, like, a cigarette or something. Stops when she realizes there isn't one. Oh my god, either we're the most lucky or the least lucky sons of bitches in the entire world. Uh, hearing the disturbance, someone exited their chamber and started heading down in this direction. <laughs> Nectar is like, yo, laughter. You done wasting time? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you gotta hear about the day I had. I'm officially complaining to you. She puts an arm around your shoulder and starts to walk. <laughs> As you disappear uh, back over this way. You ready for our big trip, huh? <laughs> More ready than you. <clears throat> I guess that's technically correct. <laughs> Let's stop by my lab first, okay? <sighs> sure. The two disappear, vanishing up into the body of the derelict. Their next destination, surface side. Guys, Helena's hangout, her hideout cannot hold that many people. No, God. <laughs> I only need to drop off one and then you can turn on freaking teleportation again, you pricks. <laughs> Listen. They're not going to turn on teleportation again. <laughs> <laughs> they refuse. Like, okay, so Stein can teleport right now. So if you get Stein out of yourself, he can take you back up to the surface. Oh my surface. god, Helena has first aid training. You do! <laughs> you want to make Helena do emergency surgery? What, I a, think it, what a great plan, Basil. I think that would be so funny. Basil, never stop being you. Okay. <laughs> You're down there now! I'm not, I'm not touching that for a while! <laughs> that is fucking insane. Um, always. I will never let you expect what's going to happen. <laughs> okay, Helena okay. is sitting down in her stupid little fucking place that they shoved, her corner they shoved her in, eating yeah. apples, and then there's a fucking knock on the door, and she's like, what annoying shit are they gonna have me do now? And then fucking... <laughs> <laughs> this handed happens. Basilisk id. Basilisk id. Stein's dying. A spectral parasite. Carry everyone to the surface. Dying child. Wait, no. Child's fine. Dying uncle. <laughs> Look, I get it. Let us have our sane one, please. <laughs> our entirely sane situation here. Yes. <clears throat> Listen, Helena's a normal person. She's got this. <laughs> okay. So up here. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Wait, did I take the building too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. When you say you I'm going to incorporate the building into myself, you take the building with you. You take yeah. the building. You send the building to hell. Uh, you guys, in the distance, you are currently occupied. Otherwise, but up here, you all watched. As the building almost shifted to an inky black, and it just fucking vanished. <laughs> Cal, you also similarly watch as a wave of fog washes down over the docks. And there is a moment of almost eerie silence as you know that the battle is now, the battle is now happening in there. But the moment before it closed, Cal, I believe you wanted to do something. Yeah, Kel sees this shit coming down and goes, okay, no we're, no one's getting through that. Uh, as his last act while still in communication with the team, Willow, he's giving you a sun token. Use it as a free ignite. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Okay, take that sun token. And then, boom, the wall closes in. And uh, all of the people on the outside are like, whoa, 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 whoa. They steady their boats and are like, <clears throat> this guy's like, hey, should we start moving away? Yes. Everybody looks at you, Cal. <laughs> okay. Uh, lead the way, boss. Oh. Uh. That way. Points of far opposite direction. Fast as you can. Come on. <laughs> Everyone's gonna start moving. And Cal, you successfully escort a large group of civilians out to the side. Oh, four. Cal's gonna start, uh... Uh, working over comms to gather up every loose civilian who's on the outskirts of the bubble and make sure they don't miss anyone. You contact this guy immediately. He's like, damn it, damn it, damn it! Ah, uh, shit, shit. Um, 
Uh, he's like looking at the wall. Oh, four and his friend are on the other side. They take a step back, like shake their heads. No sound is emitted through it. He's like, oh, fuck. Um, and then he gets the call. He's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Get everybody away from that wall. Uh, is there anyone okay. left? It he he starts gesturing at the two inside, like move back in that direction, and this yeah, guy gives like a thumbs like, up. Grabbing this guy by the arm and dragging him backwards. Uh I've got a group of civilians over here. Uh who am I speaking to? Okay. Uh this is Cal, I'm with Opia. We're follow you have an evacuation procedure standard. We're following that. Uh yeah. Uh got it. Um uh hold on. Uh, immediately, like with the other people, are, I'm coordinating with the other people around the edge. We're gathering everybody up. If there's anyone inside the barrier, do not touch them directly, but get them out of there as best you can. I'll uh, I'll, I'll put you on the line with Grandpa. Uh, he patches you through to Grandpa to coordinate a uh, defense. Yep, we're doing that now. <laughs> <laughs> and you two on the inside bump back in this direction, and you look at the area expanding in front of you. Um. There's nowhere to run. Oh, I, don't, I don't think we should go near that. Um, I'm going to yeah. be honest with you. I think the best thing we can do now is actually run towards the fight. R really? Yeah. Fuck, um, okay. She looks over at the general public and she points at Verona and Argos. Run towards those two. Okay. I rolled for competency. This guy rolled an 18. He's actually kind of lit. <laughs> he, Good he, starts for him. To, he starts to run down in this direction. Um, This dude has like, everybody else is like rocking like a traditional hunting gear. This guy has like an assault rifle <laughs> with a bayonet <laughs> on the front of it. He's, he's decked out. Um, And then... Yeah, no, this is uh, literally, this is a Christian NPC. <laughs> Down here, someone did successfully manage to make it to the other side. She quietly watches as the beetle carries a few more people to their destination and then boom, thunk, touches down in the slime nearby, uh, almost inoperable. Uh, she is not on comms with anyone. She simply pauses and thinks, <clears throat> all right, very well. I will attempt to hack into the comms to figure out what I should be doing. <laughs> um, say is gonna. Bless you, little frog. It's real frog hours. Yes. <laughs> yes! Say. Oh no, say, you have a moment. You, um, say hacks into the comms. She's like, basically like, <clears throat> Maybe if I detect open frequencies in the air, she almost licks the air trying to sense it. Ah, yes, this one seems good. And she, she seems to hone in on something, but it isn't Opius comms. It's not the evac comms. Instead, her eyes shrink down into tiny little dots. <clears throat> okay, missiles away. Let's start moving in the opposite direction. <laughs> Say looks around. Beetle. <laughs> anyway, inside. <laughs> Saru sits in the middle of the floor like, fucking hell. <clears throat> and our camera finally pans over to Argos, who watches Verona and himself stand on a nearby... Uh, uh, on a nearby deck. Argos, you have control over both of the Argoses. You only take one turn still. Uh, you can puppeteer one or the other. But it's a good way to have two Argoses in two locations. Uh, you have a shared health pool. I'm going to just unlock your dice. Okay, cool. You are, you are back up to full capacity. You watch this situation unfold, and you see uh, Eternity's eyes flare open again for a second. And he snaps his fingers... And what he manifests around him is, let me grab it. Mechanics, guys. Did you enjoy your break? We're back to it. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> Timekeeper. 
Timekeeper, fire, uh, summons twin towering titans that point large desaturating, uh, desaturating lasers at the battlefield. Deals 20 unavoidable damage in a line that spans the entire battlefield. Your first roll to die during an act determines the first target. The second determines the second. Attackers for each of these rolls determine what you lock in. So, the timekeepers. You see, over here, something extend itself almost out of the, uh, the fog wall. A towering figure that makes its presence known. Come here. Now, one forms there, and then down here, a second one forms. They both position themselves on the outer limits of the battlefield. At the end of every act, they will fire two unavoidable laser beams at whoever their designated targets are. These lasers will cut through the entirety of this little arena and uh, hurt everyone in the line. The damage is unavoidable, but reducible. So, um, with this in mind, who's going first? <laughs> I, so, keep in mind... Uh, one thing is, we don't know where the lasers are yet. Uh, I assume we don't know where the yeah. lasers are until Eternity's turn? You, so, you'll see. He determines the targets of the laser by his first rolls to die. You mm -hmm. get to choose who the laser is going to target. You also choose what he's going to lock in. Okay. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, All right. so who wants to go first? Uh... uh. I mean, I can go first. There's nothing wrong with it. Go first. I was just gonna. I was gonna yell at him. Okay. <laughs> hey. So you feel the weight too, don't you? He slowly turns around and looks at you. And, oh man, you get a sensation of recognition from this man that. Uh, is instant. When you describe the weight, usually, it's something that people ask for clarity on. His eyes simply watch you, unclouded. It seems like he recognized that word. Mm hmm But, me and you are a little bit different. Because the flame is what makes you feel that weight. But the flame is what takes it away from me. So, as much as you're looking for kinship from me, we're kind of antithetical to each other's existences. He sort of sweats looking at you. <clears throat> he, he closes his eyes. <clears throat> oh man. <laughs> this dude is gonna, this dude's about to drop something that's gonna blow up everybody's burn. But for Ace, this'll, this'll, this'll be a little bit of a boon for you. Um, <laughs> for Willow, uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> he, he looks over at you. My inability to process or understand the flame is a punishment leveled upon me. For one transgression, I will never be able to properly comprehend you parasites. He stares and sort of smiles. I understand acts of simple rebellion. However, there is an order to the universe. You exist on the lowest rung. Don't presume yourself any higher. <laughs> and so he let... drops this oh and hold on i hit you with this and hey it's good news your flame starts to react to his words as hey you wow this is awesome willow you're like oh my head hurts yeah. <laughs> okay and <laughs> I want to say something more, but I'm afraid Willow can't take much more. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, list also. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make sure. There you go. Okay, go for it. All right. So, God, this is uh, sad. I just got so much flame, and I'm going to do something <laughs> stupid. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. sure, first. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a turn. Fuck it. Why not? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just gonna try to try to throw hands with this guy. Uh, yeah, and uh, using what little flame I have left, so uh, twenty-four. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll go like that. <gasps> Yo! 
You you just get a five attribute plus nine character with a normal ass attack. No prep. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. I, so I go at him with the sword. Uh, yeah. With say sword. Uh, and yeah. then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend fifty flame. Because uh, I'm going to get rid of more of this later. Uh, and I'm going to oh, take an extra Jesus. turn. Yeah. Okay. So you stab your say sword into him, and he seems to react. This weapon again. <sighs> the hell is it? Uh, sorry. Above your pay grade. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> go 14, that's not gonna you, land, but... You swing in with the second attack, and he'll roll to die. And this next one, uh, so... Uh, sorry, actually, let me correct that. On his last roll to die, mm -hmm. tell me what he locked in. You get to choose. Uh, Remember what the timekeeper will target. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah. what, do you, what do you guys want? I, you know, I think white is probably okay. the best for right now. It's just random. <clears throat> just yep. because, like, all of us are pretty much at pretty good HP. So it's just like, you know, the people farther out can at least, like, move a lot more. So Let if it hits one of them... In this case. Yeah. Okay, so you rolled a 15 versus your 14. You can push the roll. Uh, um, no, because I'm about to do something silly. Understandable. Okay, time to roll a dice for who's getting targeted by the frickin' beam. Uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine combatants. Ooh, ten. Ten combatants. One, two, ten. Yippee. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Count, it's you. Okay. It's that, me? Uh, yeah, it's you. Um, nice. So uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have a beam pointed directly at you. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with the targeter, and um, then uh, you got that. And mm -hmm. um, the timekeeper that is nearest to you is going to start to take aim, and I'll, I'll I'll show you. I made a I made a little graphic for the beam. Nice. Uh, very important that you know where the beam. I'm a listen as a beam enjoyer. I gotta do my beams justice. So mm -hmm. we're gonna aim the beam like this, and uh, you're gonna have to deal. Jesus Christ, I forgot how much of a fucking mess this attack is. Okay, mm -hmm. so the beam is going to go like this. Uh, 20 unavoidable damage to everyone in this area. Whoa! Uh -oh. <laughs> yep! Right now? Uh, no, uh, at the, the end, end of the act. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, at the end of the act, everyone's going to get trucked. However, you notice something. He no longer has aura of death active. Mm -hmm. You oh, can exist uh... next to him. Uh, and so what I'm going to do, Jay, uh, yeah. is, uh, I should, should have probably used my action to do this. Cause I'm not sure yeah. if I'm able to do this with, without an action. Yeah, yeah. What I want to do is I'm going to use the last bit of my flame. Yeah. Like all of it. Go back down yeah. to zero. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, try to evoke pyromancy at my own body. Oh, uh, in, okay. To give... What I'm trying to do here is give yep. my berserker self a command, so at least when he goes crazy, he has a target. Okay. Willow's holding <laughs> him, right? Yeah, Willow's holding him. And so Ace is just going to take a deep breath and just go, hold him still, Willow, please, and uh, <clears throat> expel all the flame from my body, uh, commanding my body. Uh, one thing, uh, kill eternity. <laughs> Your body swaps into autopilot as smoke starts to emit from your mouth. Yeah, start of the next act, you're fucking going at him. Uh, yeah, you, he doubles over and Eternity's expression looks over. <laughs> we are similar. He smiles with a, you see a blissful look past his face. Okay, Ace, who's next? Uh, who's next? Um, yeah. I'm going to have a uh, uh, list. Okay, Lists go. Uh, List is going to, uh, List is gonna move her happy ass over here. Yes, thank you. And roll to die. <laughs> um, she places herself over here, rolls to die, and preps herself to take an action. There we go. Uh, Argos. Okay. <laughs> um, I want to scan these, what did you call them? The guys shooting lasers uh, at the us. timekeepers yes timekeepers are they like living beings are they 
constructs? Are they like auto turrets? What Ooh, yes. Okay. Uh, give me a roll to do. I will. Yo, okay. Drop that more. You, uh, yeah, you look up at the timekeepers. What are they? They appear to be almost like, more than anything, these are illusions. They are large, towering figures meant to disguise what is actually happening. It seems that Eternity has a device hidden out there somewhere in their gigantic form that is going to be firing this beam. It is almost like a giant parade float. There appears to be a, uh... A core hidden somewhere within the body, and for the for the for the crit twenty, I'll reveal where it is on this one. Um, actually, which one were you scanning in particular? I'll tell you where the core is. Uh, bottom right. Bottom right. Okay. Uh, near the forehead. Okay. <clears throat> it seems almost to be the size of a beach ball. That's doable. <laughs> <laughs> it sure uh, fucking is. I'm gonna I'm gonna mark it with tactics. You can uh you can continue acting if you so wish. All right, yeah. In that case, I'm just gonna summon myself up a sniper rifle and take a shot at that beach ball. Ooh, okay. Give me a roll to do. Uh, it you trigger tactics on it. So uh, let me roll for it. It's revealed. So it's it rolls mm -mm -mm, minus this. <laughs> okay uh your shot flies forward and it lances into the beach ball you can tell uh you can tell this timekeeper is actually like its accuracy is waning you actually managed to strike true and it buries itself in and you replace uh you can trigger that tactics marker or replace it what do you want to do with your tactics mm -mm. Mm -mm. i'm sorry and reading what my tactics oh, do yeah, of course <laughs> imagine reading all right you know what i'll just detonate that tactics <laughs> <laughs> you just detonated for 1d6 additional damage yeah can i do that but, yeah because it's flame based you you send out a detonation and you can tell that this is again this is a custom engineered device it's technology the it, it starts to rock back and forth and um allow me to Allow me to drop this thing's accuracy. Uh, it's going to it's going to aim. Uh, it's it's been weakened. It's still gonna aim and fire of uh, the beam, but um, everyone gets a roll to die against it now. Uh, so it's it's woogling over there. Argos, who next? Give it to Willow. Willow. Oh, okay. Willow is upset at this man. Yeah. She's got a tight grip on his leg, and she kind of yeah. looks at him. It calls parasites, but you're only you 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 only want to change the world because you can't really see in it. <laughs> he you turns. Say a, you say it's a sickness, but you're only doing this for yourself, not for any other reason. <laughs> Get his ass, Willow! <laughs> I've seen people that can't express their emotions, that can't even be who they are with no free will, or people that forget all of their experiences at the end of the day, and they still want to live here. <laughs> we can't help them. <laughs> Just because you can't see doesn't give you an excuse to kill everybody here. <laughs> Willow hit that troll to do! Keep going! <laughs> you say you say that you're so high up on the, the, the rung, but you can't even see the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna run. <laughs> and uh what do I get with uh, my uh uh what's it called? Your son token my gift of or... <laughs> eternity. Oh. Oh boy! Uh, so you currently have Eternity equipped on your character sheet, which means you can hit things with Eternity as if he were a weapon. Um, right now, you get the feeling that at the very least, all you're controlling is the position of his physical body, but there are significant advantages to that. Where do you want to put him? Oh, okay. I, man, I don't want to put him anywhere close to anyone else. Yeah. And... <laughs> 
I'm scared of what Flameless Ace will do if there are things in the way <laughs> of eternity. <laughs> so I'm going to just slam him down here. Yeah! <laughs> okay. You you bring him down, and you slam him in place, and he'll and... roll to die. Give me a roll to do. <laughs> Yo! Okay. First of all, tell me what dice is he locking in? Um, you know what? Give him a red. I want him to also use a red. <laughs> Let's lock in his red. That will target. <laughs> okay, that makes my life easy. Uh, red targets the closest target. You. Uh, <laughs> you and Ace have twin lasers pointed at you. That is forty damage coming at both of your heads because the lasers are over uh, intersecting. Um, but uh. Also that's not your problem right now. <laughs> I'm going to uh, use my... Actually, no, I'm going to save this. I'm going to save the Ignite. Oh, okay, okay. I'll so you it. slam him into the ground with a crit 20, and boom, he hits the earth, and that'll be 20 damage to him as he banks against it extremely hard. You guys have landed two good hits on this dude. Tiny, as Yeah. Tiny, doesn't igniting double the damage? Igniting. It does? Igniting. Yeah. Okay, so, never mind. Yeah. Use my free ignite to double the damage. Yeah, you're gonna boom! You slam him down deep and he bounces into the earth and you you actually see blood sort of like pool uh, from the, like blood pools at the exteriors of his mouth and he looks between the two of you and he closes his eyes. Eternity is gonna take his move now. He is going to mark you with something. Uh, he's got his red ability. So, Flame Bleach! Marks the nearest target with Flame Bre Bleach. It's the same 10 damage, uh, and heal- Bleach! Uh, and heal all adjacent targets 5 HP at the start of each act. Each act, the damage, uh, and healing doubles. This effect ends when you heal others for 10 HP during one turn. He's just gonna snap his fingers and, uh, very funny. Um, he's going to put it on Willow, of course because Willow's up in his face. So, uh, each act, uh, yeah, no, um, where is it? When, when does this trigger? At the start of your next act. So, at the start of the next act, Willow, you're gonna be shot by two lasers, and then your flame is going to bleed out and heal eternity. Um, we're doing that. <clears throat> That's like 50 damage, you can take that, right? <laughs> eternity stands resolute in the middle of this fucking firestorm. Uh, he is going to pass the turn to... He's going to pass the turn to Verona. Um, Verona's going to move herself forwards and be like, <clears throat> You guys, don't you want to move out of that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy! <laughs> Verona. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> she's going to do something. Uh, she'll lock in purple. Verona's going to roll to do. He wants me to move out of this laser. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Eternity rolls to die. 33, Jesus. Okay. Verona starts to sort of extend her reflection outwards. And for a moment, you start to see her, um, you start to see, like, it form around her hand, almost blooming like little flowers comprised of blood. Uh, she tries to feed, um... But that ain't gonna work. So she holds her hand out, realizes, no, oh, he doesn't have flame. I'll need to wait for him to absorb some. And instead, let's do this. Uh, she is going to uh, take that roll to do and reallocate up to 26 of her own HP to other people. Um, Willow, g get ready for the fucking transfusion. She's gonna put you up to your 45. Oh, thank <clears throat> you. Uh, before, <laughs> before the before cluster. Yeah! <laughs> hey, at least you won't be wounded twice <laughs> off of it. And, and you, get to, <laughs> you get to roll to die against one of the lasers, so. Yeah. Yeah, oh. so you might not even get a hit. <laughs> that's, that's actually amazing. Verona, Verona puts you back up and, uh, uh, Argos, you see the, like, you see the flame leaking from Verona's body. She is going to take this much. There we go. Getting you back up to there. And you realize Verona's pretty tanky. Uh, she is using herself as a blood bank currently. Um, <clears throat> you uh, feel the presence of someone else back here. He readies his spear. He's going to roll to die. Target f uh, Flame Ace. Or, fl yeah, sorry. Target Corpse Ace and use the support action to give you an additional d6 when it's time to swing. Um, he gets himself ready. Uh, List is going to wait until the end of the act. 
and she's going to use her ability. Um, basically, two beams pointed at you from opposing timekeepers. Argo shot one. So first up, Willow, roll to die. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Versus. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so that will hit. Um, but uh, what List is going to do is use her stored action. She's going to sprint her way down here, ignite, use her uh, Bulwark of the Damned, spawn a shield here, take a little less damage from this. Roll 2d6, uh, 4d6, k2. She takes 12 less damage, only taking 8 from this beam. That put her to 8 HP. That is incorrect. Um, no! Minus 8. She slams a bulwark down, and the full thing, fun thing about bulwarks of the dam, they block AoE attacks. So, Willow, from the first hit, uh, you will take 20 damage from one of the beams. Uh, you will not take 20 damage from the second beam. Uh, Ace, you will take t 20 damage from one of the beams. And then you will not take 20 damage from that bulwark over there. Uh, List will take 20 damage from the uh, uh, beam that is hitting her from behind now. Uh, the attack is mitigated a significant amount, and then Flame Bleach happens. Eternity is healed. Uh, will it take 10 damage? All right. <clears throat> Eternity and List heal 5 damage and remove Flame Bleach. You've healed other people for at least 10 HP. <clears throat> Jeez, okay. Action-packed sequence of events. Uh, mm. your, your targeting disappears. Uh, the beams are no longer pointed at you. And Eternity is going to take his go. Um, he is going to roll to die. What's... Who, who oh you, my god, look who, at these choices. Who are you gonna hit, huh? Who are you gonna hit? I just could choose this one because I think it's funny. Um, <clears throat> who's gonna use? Time skip. Reallocate to uh, relocate to any point in the arena. Roll to die and perform one action during stop time. You do not need to re reveal what it is. Eternity uh, will roll to die. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I, oh, no. it, it, I can't see it because I'm not technically in control of my body. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Eternity disappears and is going to warp. Uh, up here. Just a little distance away from you guys. Okay. He waits and doesn't reveal what he did. Uh, he passes the turn to Willow. Oh, he knows. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> you got nothing to say to me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Willow. You start to walk in this direction. You square up and you start moving. Um... And as you make it exactly there, he snaps his fingers and sets something off. He's going to try to... Oh, that's way too big. What the fuck? Oh, the screen went dark. What the fuck is happening? Uh -oh. oh, it's fine for uh, me. I uh, copy-pasted something in Roll20, literally just pitched everything to black. Uh, well, oh, you enter this area, and he snaps his fingers and is going to try to trigger one of his minds. Um, he's going to try to pause you in time. Give me a roll to die. All right. Oh, damn. I have Fuck. to choose this after, before I roll. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Just be to DC 10. It's not that bad. Okay. Um, Let's see. So I moved, so I get, I believe, 1d6 for my mm. standstill. Yes. 20? You feel time. <laughs> Try to freeze around you as... You start to move up and through the timeline detonates, and let me get rid of it. <clears throat> you walk as you literally feel all of the flame hold fast in the world around you and try to hold you still as, or sorry, not the flame. You feel the world itself try to hold you still to freeze in place, but you just walk, stop, stop, stop towards the man, sending rivulets of flame through, re-energizing the world around you. You continue to close the distance. You don't even want to work with us. <laughs> Cut a rip and tear everything and solve your problems on your own. That's the problem with all of these things in the world. <laughs> he holds his hand out. He's like, I believe I have the situation fully under control. The assistance of others is patently unnecessary. 
he looks behind you, and he looks at all of your friends, and then he gives you a smile with utter glee. Doesn't Deadweight just hold you back? I'm going to. I'm turning on fucking keyhole. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Willow, like, you're dead! <laughs> Trinity, like, you're dead! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You turn on Keyhole! It's time for your one per session. Time to go all out. I wound myself from this shit ability. <laughs> Get his ass! <laughs> I'm getting his ass. Oh my god. Okay. Give me, give me that good roll to do. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh wow, that's pretty low. That's pretty low, but let's see. He re oh, that's a good okay. like roll. You I'm going to yeah, <laughs> I'm going to ignite. <laughs> I'm going to end my stance though to also ignite again. <laughs> Willow, you look at this man. And you see him spread his hands to either side, borderline in like a godlike deific gesture. You look at all of the futures surrounding this individual. And despite everything that's happened in this combat, you see all of those intersecting realities coming to a single point. You look at Ace behind you. You look at Liss taking shelter. You look at the burning trailhead and the line cut through it. Regardless of what future you peer to, there is no winning this fight. And then your flame starts to leak out. And instead of embracing any of these futures, you start to yell and write your own. Give me another roll to do! All right. <clears throat> we try it again. Let's see what the Come rolls on. are. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. This will determine what the next, uh, the, the shape the next action takes. You struggle and your flame leaps from your body with a roar as what happens at this exact moment. <clears throat> you charge forwards as Keyhole flares up at your side. A momentary word of, <clears throat> unfortunately, the tormented exist outside the simulation. Trying to figure out anything related to this individual is proving to be exceptionally difficult. And then Grasp is like, doesn't matter. <clears throat> what uh, what he's running off of is functionally a computer program. We need something else. We need heart. We need guts. We need grit. Get him, Willow! And you hear the roar as your hand leaps in the air. Starlight punch pre-primed in your palm as he holds up his hand and your fist rains down, flaring with different possible futures. And then... Ding. He holds one hand out, and the attack simply stops, all force being transmitted into the environment around. A wave of devastation spirals through the area, all of that force redirected into the ground and otherwise. Willow, your flame explodes out from you in that moment, and what you see immediately, uh in your vision is a trailhead. <clears throat> now, utterly wrapped in flames. Flames that carried the full weight of your hope. You stand in the middle of a crater and the man holds your hand stopped dead in the center of his fist all around you. The edges of his fog wall continue to close in. The trailhead burns. He stops your attack, assumes a smile, takes one step backwards, bows slightly, and then assumes a different stance. He braces an arm to the side, seeing your punch, loosens his shoulder, lets the cape fall to the side, throws one arm up and actually allows his coat to fall off to the side, with fists, then. He flashes you a smile. And the combat goes on. <laughs> Everybody break! I gotta rest my voice. 
Oh. <laughs> Eternity said, bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This truly is the final list of bosses. Mask, can you put me back on the map now? I need to see if it will let me exist. Bro. My guy just fucking stopped your theme. With a finger. <laughs> I, I tried to hit him with my strongest Rasengan and it was a fucking Shadow Clone. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Wait, uh, are we on a different map than Trailhead than we were before? Do I need to move you again? Busted Trailhead. Maybe. Yes, it's a different map. Oh. Oh, poop. I moved you back to the big one. It's okay. Yeah. It's not crashing me. Yay. Yay. I would like to not be on this map for too long. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, fuck. I don't. I was not keeping up. I looked away from the screen. Hang on. Multitasking too much shit. Mm -hmm. I'll so ask Brennan, Jay which one we're on when uh, he comes back. You're you're the real smart one. For leaving, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 We're out here yeah. fighting for our lives, and we don't even realize that Stein's you're, already gone. We yeah, Stein's <laughs> gone. Like, <laughs> we literally <laughs> won. You could leave if only I had a calm. It's not about the objective anymore. <laughs> I need to tell him about about the swing, how I've had it hard to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just punched him and it didn't work, so now it's time for you to be like, <laughs> I feel there like we go. I've been stuck in eternity too. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, we're more alike than you. <laughs> my, I love that you said you showed him the swing. It's my favorite thing. My, yeah. my, my favorite comment that I've ever seen on a Naruto episode, which is my, uh, by the way, I fucking love Naruto. <laughs> Full disclaimer. Obviously, I say gesturing. But my favorite comment on a Naruto episode was, uh, he, he had another one of those speeches, and uh, the guy goes, Man, that swing has more screen time than 1010. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. True. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get everything prepped really fast. I'm gonna I'm gonna rest my voice, which you can tell is Don't to worry. some extent it's it's being shredded to shit. Yeah. But <clears throat> Don't worry, I know I know what you sounds want to say. Great. Yeah, I know what? I know what you want to say. Yeah. Get your September creatures now. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Did you know? Jay or... doesn't have the strength to say it, but what? now's the time. Now's, now's the, time. the time. We need your 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 energy. We need your energy. Send it. I I love this because like I I saw what Willow was doing and I'm like normally I'd face change via like damage or wounds. He just wants to punch you. <laughs> so I'm like, no, he's going. He's still got all his attributes. Um, <laughs> dude is dude is just gonna throw hands with you now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Jim, Roma. I'm gonna move you over to the map. Um, I'm to on the sure map. It's, it's okay. Oh, I'm you gonna should, uh... here. Try this mm -hmm. one. It's, we're going to be using this one. Okay. <clears throat> this one seems okay. Seems okay. It's got fewer effects on it, for sure. Um, Damn, when you said they were just dead weight. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Eternity, oh, I I love I love him because I, I I've been I've been practicing making this man get under people's skins. <laughs> and I'm like I'm like <laughs> rub sands together and Will is like you're dead and I'm like well deserved friend <laughs> get him. Yeah. It reminds me of that like uh, animation that Puji made where it's like Will yeah. like rolling up her sleeves. <laughs> <and stuff. laughs> I'm killing you. I'm, I'm killing you. you. <laughs> I've got to set the map up proper. It's fucking great. A bunch um, of crazy shits about to happen. Just FYI. We might. No, it, okay. Nice. I yeah. know this is. The stream is probably. Uh, I know that the stream has been going for a while. And yeah. we still have a lot of content left. Yeah. You're. You might want to, like, drink something. Like, drink yeah, water, no, for like, sure. And stop yeah. talking for, like, Four minutes. Oh, drink just a 40 like, ounce. I like, God, shut up. God, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> That's what I meant. Nice. That's what okay. I meant. Get wasted. Right so, now. Shut up, Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
God, this boss fight is so high. I'm. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. delivering. Is it? It's 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 delivering. It's everything you yeah, ever yeah, wanted. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's delivering. Okay. Okay, rest, okay. Re re rest, my child. Rest. Okay, yeah, no, Rome is right. I, I hold up some tender creatures just, to your mouth like a horse no. and you feed. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Uh, this stream might go on long tonight, and uh, Jay needs the voice, so I think we might want to, like, yeah. give him, like, four minutes. Of, Jay, like, shut up. I will, I will, Jay, I will stop. politely Jay. stop. Guys, cease the bit. It's making me engage. <laughs> 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 he, he's too good at this, dude. He sees a bit and he hops on it, dude. Like, come on. Dude. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna rest my voice for five and a half seconds. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> so Jackson, tell me. Uh, how do you, how do you see this going at like going in the next five turns? Where do you uh, see yourself in the next five turns? Where do you see yourself? I see myself <laughs> dead on the ground. Beating you up. <laughs> You're gonna beat me up in real yeah. life. Yeah. I, un IRL. Lucent's collar. <laughs> you know, Aloha was a Navy SEAL. Yeah. Art. Art. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm ending the bit. The bit is over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was the best shit ever. That was that was that was quality. Fuck you guys. You guys don't know comedy. God, you're the worst. I'm oh. laughing. <laughs> you shouldn't be. Uh, it's tiny, so tiny. Where do you see? Yeah. Uh, you, you know what? Fuck it. Hey, chat, and also YouTube comments. Where do you Holy see you yourself, yourself in the next five turns? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Uh, I'm I'm curious to know. I bet you I, wish you were in the Basil Hotel right now. Yeah, or <laughs> spamming September creatures in chat. That dead, died, dead, dead. ditch. Dead. I see myself still watching the stream, ripping off. Dead. Oh. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2 a.m. fighting for my life. Watch this. Uh, immense pain. Hell, September creature with sunglasses, drunk, laughing way too loud. I don't know what came over me. It's fine. Dead. The empty void, Dead. murdered by eternity, kissing characters, hopefully full of ca uh, quesad Dead. quesadilla, if you will. Uh, Aloha. Yeah. I've had about enough of you. <laughs> you've come in this stream and you've had nothing but aggression for me, Jackson. What did I do? Yeah, are you okay? What, are you okay? What did you do? <laughs> what happened? Are you really asking that? Yes. <laughs> I'm, I I genuinely don't know. Here it comes. I'm, just, I'm the... looking at the receipts right now. Oh my god! Oh, no, 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 no. Post Tuesday. <laughs> On my balcony at this lovely trailer okay, hotel. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday just at 9:38 p.m., Aloha <laughs> said to me, "You seem like the kind of guy who played League of Legends." <laughs> Is he am, wrong? am I wrong? <laughs> you are now my mortal enemy. <laughs> not the silence enemy. is deafening. You're not <laughs> answering the question. You never <laughs> answered the question. I was peer pressured to play League of Legends a couple times. I admit it. Me. I've, I've learned. I've changed and I've grown. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a twit longer? <laughs> you, you're mad. By the way, guys, I think a reminder just for the play, lovely players and the chat, the people that I actually care about. Um, you should uh, get get snacks and water right yeah, now while you have a chance. Or, or some September creatures. Uh, never play League of Legends. Never that's play League the, of Legends. <laughs> that, that's the real moral so, of the story. Or accuse anyone of playing it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially. Not all is it accusing if I'm right? Yeah. No, Have you played not. League of Legends, Aloha? Uh, my brother's friend, because I was a pro Smite player, right? Oh, okay, all right. Guilty by association. So your yeah. answer also isn't just a flat so no. So I had my brother had a friend who would always come over to our house. You know that friend that just like does I don't know just lives at your house for some reason. Yeah, and he, he played he played a lot of League of Legends, and he knew I was really good at MOBAs, so he would pay me to play League of Legends with him. Damn. So you so you, you played you, you play, Legend. Yeah, you played yeah, it for free you, though. You, you played it to boost. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's for us, Jackson. <laughs> you played it for free. I don't know about that. <laughs> you guys suck dick I for was, free. I was. <laughs> I was merely. I was young and impressionable and in a bad environment. Jackson, it was <laughs> last year. <laughs> Jackson was. Jackson was literally living under my. Jane yeah. talking. Yeah, I was that friend. <laughs> I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jay. I love you. I put my finger over your mouth and I, I said, I, I, did have, I did have the good idea because we watched JJ, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen and. JJ uh, Kaisen? I, I, I almost said JJK and then I was like, oh, normies won't know what that means. Uh, and so uh, one of the characters uh, takes uh, throat medicine, and I was like, damn, Jay, you should get some throat medicine, like some throat spray. You should uh, that, get some <laughs> Jay <laughs> typed in the Rule20 chat that one picture of Riddle walking away with a bindle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the also, Bugs Life one. Uh, I'm declaring to the world that Jay Shush bit ends after this break. Never oh, yeah. again. Oh, yeah. D no, I'm not. That's fine. I love my friend, and I love when he speaks. <laughs> I I'm, no, I'm going to bring it, it back. Because I don't think this bit can can go on much longer without being hurtful. I know. I'm going to bring it back in real life. I just keep hearing really Jay, like, giggling me. and trying not to <laughs> engage. <laughs> Jay, <laughs> let's hang out and uh, go to dinner tomorrow. I'm going to bring nice. uh, Jay. Oh, guys, you passed the test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay is typed in the Rule 20 chat. I'm gonna bring League of Legends back to life re in real life, and this is a threat. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm proud that in my entire life, being surrounded by things that are in the League of Legends space, I have no idea anything about League of Legends. I have no clue. Nothing. If you showed me a League of Legends, I wouldn't know what it is. You That's didn't fine. watch yeah. Arcane? That's terrible. No. Because I didn't want to know what a League of Legends was. I know that there's a I there's a Harley Quinn that. or something. That's it. I've actually never played it. Nice. Damn. I shake your hand. <laughs> Two black <laughs> kings against League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. I do I do get points ticked off because I did play Dota two. <laughs> Dota two is. I, I don't even know. <laughs> I feel like Dota two, at least, is a little bit respectable, right? Like not playing it for a long, like a like a like a long time. But if you played like a little bit of Dota two, that's like you like dipping your toe in like one of the first like successful mobas, and then dipping right. And like I respect that a lot more because you're like I'm gonna try the genre, and then I tiny you never played it again. You never played. Yeah, it I, I played it. I did really well, and some guy accused me of smurfing, and I was like, I don't understand what's going on, so I'm not gonna play it anymore. What is <laughs> What are the Smurfs? Have uh, to do with you, you <laughs> Smurfing is when you make an alt account to be lower level, so you fight lower level people and beat the shit. Why is it called Smurfing? The Smurfs yeah. are very powerful. They beat Dark <laughs> That's Mal what every I do. week. <laughs> On this channel. That's crazy. They got beat by a person who just opened the game. Like... <laughs> You're just built different, homie. What can I say? By the way, Jay, you're great. I just want to say this is this has been this is very this, fun. This has been say, great. But don't this is insane. I'm like backflipping in real life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Except, no, this is fucking yeah. awesome. I better not hear you giggling. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> uh, no, like the mechanics, uh, the the stakes, oh, the fact that like uh, a There's, lot of people have died. I uh, miss a good steak. There is something I can do to eternity that I can't wait to do. I can't wait. Bro, I... Are you gonna kiss him? Oh. No. <laughs> you said that. Before. <laughs> no. no, no Do something so. else. Uh, just I, I, uh, Tiny, did you eat the cheese? <laughs> no, tiny cheese oh, shaped. No. <laughs> tiny standing in front of the refrigerator at three a.m. Oh. Tiny's lips monochromed. No, <laughs> dude, my, my uh, my stepdad made a smoked brisket today. He smokes Ooh. brisket. Yo, yo, it's hardcore, <laughs> man. He needs to go to rehab. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm ready. Let's He's go. Ready. Wait, oh. my wow, you actually... sound rejuvenated. Yeah, my voice. My voice actually. Yeah, no, that was very smart. Actually, thank you. Yeah, yeah. What did you gargle? No, I just sat here and tried not to giggle. <laughs> <laughs> it was harder than I expected. <laughs> okay. The truly so. the third tormented. Truly. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, beloved third tormented. <laughs> um. 
Okay. Beloved, they're tormented. Uh, the tormented of ha-has. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Is... I feel like that's five, right? Five is the most likely to have a throat ache, yeah. <clears throat> okay. What did he mean by this? <clears throat> Bringing us back. This is going to involve at least a shortcut ahead to the to the situation as it unfolds. <clears throat> Let me move over here. First, we're going to handle this step by step as the world reacts to your battle. Mm, this one. <clears throat> All of this is happening. Someone runs her uh, way forwards, dismounting the beetle. She runs, hops, leaps, and lands on top of a cliff. She scoots over in this direction and sees that slowly growing firestorm in the distance. Her eyes focus in, and she raises her hands. And she focuses every single fang under her command on the incoming missile. A single thought sort of resonating in her head. Something that stuck almost as an unusual thing. The question of why she's even doing this to begin with. The fangs whiz one after the other, forming a wall in front of the missile, uh, traveling towards her. Hmm. She thinks to herself for a second, everything that her brother and Basil said, coming to roost all at once. Really is difficult to know yourself. She throws the fangs out, and, in the distance beyond the Eternity boss fight, Temporarily, the swamp is dyed in an utter, brilliant bright light. But these aren't the only people reacting to the situation around. Above, the trouble the war has stopped. The mm. war has stopped, at least for the moment, and almost silence remains. You feel fire crackling across the surface of your skin. You see Trailhead reduced to rubble below you. You see a Geist brand uh, filthy missile fired into the depths of the swamp, detonate, cause catastrophe down below. You see a multitude of people on the verge of death. And you start to walk. And tell me what emotions are running through your head right now. This situation is particularly rough because <clears throat> World 12 is lacking in one area that all of the other worlds excelled. They don't have an army. They, they don't have enough of st the stamina resource that an army has to properly handle all of these different converging things. And she's just trying to process how she can make up that difference for them. You think, you turn the thought over in your head, and almost as an instinct, a part of yourself, sparking to the surface. A promise that you made, you exhale. It's a heavy weight, but if not now, then when? Something boils to the surface of your body. Flame beginning to emit and emulate. You hold your hands over to either side. You let out the call, and then... Trouble! 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 Focus! Focus! What are you doing? <laughs> God. Annoying. <laughs> what were you about to do? What was that? What was that? What were you about to do? What was that? Huh? Focus. <laughs> I was going to try and help them because <sighs> someone we're very familiar with is causing quite a problem. I'm aware of the issue as it currently is unfolding with eternity, but ultimately, let's break down the scenario. We can't put ourselves in harm's way when it comes to eternity, and similarly, uh, at the other angle of things. <sighs> What's the worst that can happen? Stein is away from the location. Uh, you know that World 12 can't afford to lose even a single soldier. World 12 can't. We can. <sighs> you know 
we can't afford to pay any of the prices that you were just willing to write a check for right now. Not at the current stage of our own plans. Listen, World 12 will not last. It's written in the stars. It's woven into the fabric of this place. This diseased and dying place will, unfortunately, one day cease to be. Do not waste our resources here and now. Not when there is a fight that we can win long term, down the line. Preserve. Persevere. Hold on for now. I know this is difficult, but I have to ask. Don't. She kind of clicks her tongue. Is this advice from my friend Tetra, or is this an order from the comms officer of Exulansis? You hear the man creak back in his chair. He braces his hand against his forehead and sort of pushes his glasses up. Our least favorite question. Uh, your friend Tetra would probably want you to be able to save those people that you're clearly so invested in. But, unfortunately, the comms officer of Exulansis needs to make the same choice he does every single world. You hear him thump against the desk. This is an order. She kind of like... There's, it's almost like a growl. It's like a growl and like a titch at the same time. She's like, okay, so I need to get clever about it. What was that? <laughs> well, you I can't use Exolance's resources. No Exolance's resources, yes. So I just need to use the ones that belong specifically to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a face like I just bit into a lemon. I want you to know that. <laughs> yeah, <can> <laughs> and at this exact moment, the silence is actually disrupted as <laughs> another bomb explodes on the shore. But uh, from the center of the bomb over here extends what appears to be a white flag. It's funny. Uh, what cruises into port and then a short time later... After, of course, Melly rushes down the way like, What the fuck was that? Yelling, screaming. It seems that logic has finally caught on to the situation. And? From the boat shore, a dinghy rides up and a man steps off of it bravely. And I'm sorry for the similarity between these two characters' voices. It's particularly hard now that it's grating. Uh, logic and Tetra are not the same person. Don't get that in your conspiracy brains. Keep that in mind. <laughs> he steps up onto the planks and starts to wander his way over and is like, ah, delightful. Dearest Treble, uh, so good to see you further. again. He pauses. You two back up. Fuck, that's, I broke one of those things earlier. Hi, he waves. Hello. Uh, so, I'm sure you're aware of the situation. I am well aware of the situation, Logic. Uh, Right now, I'd like to state something. Um, uh, th their eyes are off us. We're, we're free to do whatever we want. I can tell his eyes are off of us. He's he down there. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. In the immediate, um, I, I don't think we need to commit any further to this war thing. Uh, wouldn't you agree? I do agree. I've agreed with that sentiment since the beginning. <laughs> Delightful. So, um, at the very least, let's, let's just call this a truce for now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, you go, lick your wounds, obviously, they're plentiful. He says, looking over at uh, Melly and uh, Aura. Aura's like, got a fucking eye patch over one eye. Melly in the back just spits. <laughs> Take your time. What are you planning? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not going to take me. advantage of the boss looking away for five seconds. Me, plan anything. No, 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 I'm not a planner. I'm not a schemer. What are you planning? <laughs> I'm not a schemer. <laughs> <laughs> well, Why would at... I ever do something to betray the boss? Wow, so delightful. It's so wonderful. Our, our two organizations pitted against each other for so long. I turned into some little lap dogs, able to get along like this. This is this is great. Why can't we do this more often? Um, maybe because you're a scumbag. <laughs> ah, right. Of course. Uh, uh, let's shake on it. He holds out as he holds out a hand. He's like, well, a little trick of my pyromancy, a function of the suit. Anything that I've detonated with a bomb, um, I'm able to reconstitute extremely 
handily, he holds out an arm. This is clearly Riddle's severed arm. Ah, shake. <laughs> he, he wiggles it up and down. <laughs> what a neat little trick you use to try to provoke me. <laughs> I'm not provoking anything. We're not schemers. We're not, we're not planners. Come on, shake. <laughs> What exactly is this deal we're needing to shake on? <clears throat> that I don't mess with you and you don't mess with me. At least for the while and while attorneys down here doing that. Mm. I don't believe I will be shaking the severed hand of my girlfriend that you're holding there. Ah, shame. <laughs> he holds out his hand and just disappears into embers. Well, uh, in that case, so long as we each go upon our independent ways, it's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my dinghy out of here. Walk, walk, walk. <gasps> and with that, it's wonderful as always, uh, dear members of X Alliances, and I guess uh, impudent worms of the world above. Um, uh, I bid you adieu. <laughs> he hops. He into just the sort boat. of chews him away. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Annoying. Okay, he's definitely <laughs> going to try something. Yeah, right? Now that he doesn't need to be pretending Jeez. to... She does air quotes around the word pretend, pretending he was really fighting us, but now that he doesn't need to be putting on the show for... Yeah, he was definitely days. trying to fucking kill us. Yeah, <clears throat> now that he doesn't need to be putting on the show, he's going to try and take advantage of something going on here, because that's the first thing I thought to do, too. <laughs> now he sort of stops and thinks. Huh. Uh, huh. Or uh, puts up a hand. Want to keep an eye on him? Yeah, I'm probably going to follow him. I'm just trying to think of... Well, attorneys down there, what do I need to do while he isn't looking that I can get people moving on? Um... Yeah, oh. we need to keep an eye on him. That's probably priority. He's definitely going to try something while he's here. What would he want from this situation? He... Melly taps her foot. Boss, can I leave that to you? Uh, actually, hey, uh, could you, like, trust me with the contingent of units or whatever? I think I've got an idea. Who do you want? Uh, give me, like, give me Ruth. Uh, I think you take Aura. Um, she, like, looks over and Aura sort of stops. He's like, whoa, instant authority for Melly, huh? Melly's like, what? Uh, Melly, like, looks back over to you, Trouble, and for a split second, you see almost like, it almost feels like looking at a vision of the past. You fought with somebody like this before a long time ago. She's like, uh, with that little trick he just pulled, I think, regardless, if we're gonna resume the war after the fact, we could probably swing it in our favor. Alright, so you want Ruth? Yeah. Just uh, Ruth? I just need somebody who can cause as much destruction as possible. God, I wish then we had you... heard this probably want Ascalon. Really? Okay, hey, hmm. yeah, I'll grab Ascalon. Ascalon's reflection does large-scale destruction if she fires it. Uh, you hear a yell from the distance, and I'm an explosives expert! I'll take her too, I guess. Mm. Huh. Okay. Uh, thank you. She stops in place, salutes him, and takes off. Whoa. All right. Well, if Melly's handling that, I think it's you and me on tracking down logic. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Uh, so are we taking a boat, or, uh, are you gonna carry me? Do you- are you adverse to me carrying you? No. <laughs> I'm actually kind of tired. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hops up in your arms. This man is huge. You are tiny. It does not matter. And you just, flick, warp out of existence. And... You disappear like that. Meanwhile, Melly makes her way down the beach. She starts genuinely, like, reorganizing the various uh, uh, units of Opia. Based on what you guys just discovered, Melly's plan in the immediate is to retake the flame drilling platform. Because if his ability is re to reconstitute shit that blows up, he's got to be getting the flame from somewhere. She's like, okay, uh, hey, pulls out a phone. It's Melly Luxity! Combat idol, everybody's favorite in the Silt Islands. Hey, could you do me a favor and um, uh, cease powering whatever generators you guys have? Just like a little bit of a blackout. I mean, I know there are hospitals nearby, but you guys have backup generators, right? Come on! She starts to move her way around while Trouble moves her way towards Logic. But 
during this time. Here is a version of the map that should be significantly kinder. We're going to do almost a little acceleration. <clears throat> the fights continued on. Laser after laser rips its way through the remnants of Trailhead, and as it does, more and more of not only the water of the swamp, the material of, uh, like, the ground is churned up again and again and again. And... Willow, you find yourself attacking a man posed in the middle of this area. One hand raised. He parries attack after attack. Your gaze twitches occasionally to the sides, the barrier closing down, but beyond it, the fierce combat that has occurred here has dried up the entirety of the swamp in the surrounding area. All that's left is the simple wasteland. You and your opponent. He raises his fist as you perform another attack, raising high. Something ducks in from below, sweeping up near his legs. It attempts to claw out his eyes as Eternity takes another step backwards. He continues to lead you on, a bullet shot ringing out through the air. Twin guns fired at the man. Back over here, these two take a shot, and Eternity raises one hand, and he is going to, even during this fucking cutscene, use an attack, because, you know, he's got a once per session, he might as well use it. Um, he's gonna use his once per session? Uh, time out. He's throwing this on Argos, you've been too effective. He, uh, sends you to the cube. Um, boom. <clears throat> a cube forges around Argos as someone leaps up over it, closing the distance. And Sir touches down with an almost feral step. Uh, a man, taking uh, cover behind List and the cube, fires over with a gun. And the other Argos, now outside, is aware of the fact that he is separated from his other self again, sent to the cube. But you all begin to engage in Mortal Kombat with Eternity. He continues to parry each of your attacks, reminiscing. Smile playing across his lips ever so slightly. This reminds me, actually. Well, it's been. <clears throat> he sort of moves back. Ace, throwing a punch that divides the earth, sending waves of muck to the side. The man moves with an almost serene grace. You close in and throw an overhand, and he blocks it, ducking low. The necessity of forging a martial style. He thinks. It's been years since he's had something like this happen. When would he have to withdraw a sacred treasure of experience from his vault? Eternity reflects back on the exact moment that the style was created. Ages past. The man was worshipped in this world as an almost living deity. He wandered around as a segment of statue that provided to death that, uh, to all that came before him. To the religious fanatics of this world... He was a saint. He was a creation of absolute perfection. He was enlightenment given form. He was true stillness. And so in this dusty plain, he met a monk. The monk, long chitinous arms, significantly surpassing eternities in not only strength, but cutting power, asked eternity a question. I one day wish to be as still as you are. Eternity thought hard about this. Thought hard about the concept of the entire world always grinding to a halt around him. He offered something. If you teach me to move your body, uh, to move my body in a method similar to yours, then I will teach you to be truly and utterly still. He walked away from the man expecting very little, and yet generations passed. The man founded an order. The Order grew into an entire sect. The sect found its own martial prowess, and it dedicated itself to the per perfection of the form. Long chitinous claws were cut short, mangled over years of repetitive motion, to focus down into a shape that would match their own deities. As such, these bug-like figures slowly over time began to take the man's shape, 
one step after the other, molded to it. Given time, this style, a way to move the body efficiently, even for one such as him who had never known martial prowess, was transmitted, a gift to their deity, and as such, he granted them everlasting stillness. The man stands in front of you now, a look of glee on his face. He finally has a chance to try it out. <laughs> <laughs> a beaming expression casts over uh casts over him as I post exactly what was just crafted here. Oblivion style. While colorless, damage sustained is reduced to zero and is reflected in full to the attacker. You must then immediately lock in another d uh, dice of the attacker's choosing. You cannot drop your swing without igniting. And during this exchange, you've seen a few of his other techniques. I'm going to register the interesting ones. Crushing strikes. Your attacks ignore all positive effects on your target. Ignite to perform an attack that removes a gift from the target's character sheet until you are wounded. And you've seen this one too. Saru stumbles backwards, clutching the side of his head. Eternity pulls his hand back. Candle Crusher attacks the target's flame directly. Damage dealt in this form permanently reduces the target's HP. Ignite to heal uh, equal to your swing. He assumes his stance again, utterly empty, and waits for you to attack. Now we pick up exactly where we left off with everything you left on the battlefield still in place. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! I don't need this HP anyways. <laughs> YOLO, etc. Hold on. I moved somebody over here. Oh, four. You remain pressed against the back of this cube, almost taking cover. What are your animal instincts telling you? <laughs> she does not like this. She's she's weirdly like, at this point, we can't leave. So no. the safest thing for us to do is to be completely aware of what's happening. Yeah. Uh, it's like almost like a form of anxiety. You yeah. Know, the idea of, well, now that I can't find safety in, in retreating, I have to become, like, completely, like, I need to be in the situation so that I can feel like I have any amount of control over it. <clears throat> um, she, she's here, and she's, she's looking at it, and she, she's like, O4 has no experience to lean on in this moment and she has no clue what she should do so she's just standing here looking around trying to figure out what the best course of action for her is in a place where she has no references anymore oh boy you you see everyone around you closing in with an almost grim determination. The two out front are borderline feral. Saru's trying his best to keep up. And then Verona fires her gun in the air like she's seen Argos do before. And uh, her voice resounds out. <clears throat> uh, everyone, if you could follow this tactic at the very least, I can capitalize on it. Verona wants you to lock him into red, regardless of what happens. If you do that and then give her a turn, she believes she can do something about it. That's all she's giving you? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, who wants to go? Right now, Eternity will reflect 100% of the damage she's dealing back to the attacker. So passing it to an NPC isn't a bad idea, but I want to see what you guys do. If you want, O4 can... Now that anyone has provided any amount of direction, I can show up and have her attack him. <laughs> to knock him out of the swing. <laughs> Go for it. I believe in you. I wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, anyone wanna, anyone wanna, wanna take that bullet? <clears throat> I'll take it. <laughs> uh, Afor is, Afor is willing to take it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, this, this Randy is too. Like, uh. I, I'm gonna, you know what? Fuck it. He's already in deep. Sorry, taking it. <laughs> uh, he's he's up front. He's gonna, yeah. Oh, wait, what's that? You go, you go, you go. I'm just, uh, just theorizing that yeah. if, if 
reduces your HP by attacking your flame directly. No. This ace, like, this ace, his flame isn't him, right? No. It so isn't. No. You, you could just, ready. like, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you want to get punched. Oh, well, 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 right now he's uh, colorless, so any attack colorless. against him is gonna reflect back to you, and then we can choose what he locks in. And then you choose what he yeah. locks in, and Verona's asked well, for isn't red. Locked, he isn't locked into white right now. He's yes. locked oh, into Oblivion oh, style. Yeah, that's, yeah, that is me warning you that this isn't his kid. Yeah. Um, gotcha. My bad. No, yeah, no, cool. no, it's cool. Sora's gonna close in, and almost like with a uh, with a feral roar, he'll close in and jab his weapon forwards. Actually, no. Sara ne knows he needs to hit him as weakly as possible. His attack becomes very gentle, and he moves in, and Eternity raises his spear and reflects two entire damage to Sara. Just a little ping. Oh, that's kind of pog. Oh, hold on. Oops, that's two HP. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <yeah>. Die. <laughs> Who's that, 38? He, he pings, and then... Saru will, uh, Saru's gonna look over. What do you want Saru to lock him into? Do you want Verona to go next or somebody else? Oh, uh, I wanna see what Verona's gonna do. So lock him into red. Okay, Fuck cool. It. He's gonna yeah. lock into red, which will change his stance and his style. He locks up. That's the wrong guy. Um, we roll to die. Lovely. Um, he locks into red and you feel him assume this style of crushing strikes. You can tell any positive bonuses you have are gonna be negated. He is just gonna beat his ass, uh, beat your ass. Verona takes a step forward and again is she's going to go like this like in this dice which is very low we love to oh. see it she Ooh. raises her hand and eternity rolls very badly as he turns over and he gets a strange sensation as verona holds her hand out and she sort of snaps her fingers eternity looks over and is like you're trying to convert my blood to flame or my flame to blood? Huh. Hard to tell in either regard. Regardless, I... And then from one of his eyes juts a long, ragged bit of crystal that sticks out. And he's like, what the hell? He grips up at his head and sort of like pulls against it. Verona's like, oh, sorry, guys. I was really hoping I'd hit him a lot harder than that. She will activate Drain and get a bunch of health back for herself. Let's go. 2d6. Uh, Verona holds her hand to the side as Eternity stops and sort of looks over at her. I see. I'll be a was safe for a reason. I'm going to reveal a mechanic that Verona has in particular. It's something that if you've watched our other games, you might be aware of. And currently, she's the only character in the setting oh, with one of these. Ascending. Verona, dear, uh, d dear doctor that she is, has an ascended red stat. Which means, unless the target also has an ascended red stat... She will always win clashes with them. She wants him to be in red. She'll get free hits. As long as as long as Eternity's in red, Verona will always win the clash, even if she wins one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fully demonstrating the effect of this. This is what happens when you get a stat to plus nine and you push it a little bit further. The the de facto leader of Opia flicks her lab coat out from behind her and she's like, I'm glad to be able to deploy with you all on a mission like this. <laughs> the confidence radiating from her is overwhelming. She... Eternity grips the crystal emerging from him and breaks it off, not sustaining as much damage as he expected. Verona's back at full health, and she will reallocate these to the people next turn. Um, he turns over and uh, seems like seems to have a look of shock. I pass it to Willow. All right, um, <clears throat> I, I have a dice wounded, right? Uh, yes, you did wound a dice off of that. Uh, don't forget, Tiny, you can negate a wound. Yes. yes. You get to get um, a wound once. Uh, yeah. You know what? I will negate a wound. <laughs> you stay mm -hmm. strong. You keep it together. Uh, and what is it that so, lets you do that? Melly's bond gift? Yep. <laughs> yeah. I believe yes. Thumbs up. No, Melly's oh, bond no, gift no, is Melly's even stronger, is yeah. Only, it's only when my last dice is wounded. Uh, yes. okay. But you so have... I would have to use built different. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But well, I will use this and declare my next elements the oh. opposite of heroism. Oh. And my 
my next element is absolution. Absolute, let's fucking go! You declare your next element as absolution and forms around you. It feels so natural as your element stabilized. The attack that was ripping you apart coming back to grasp whispers in your ear like, come on, just push a little further now. We're almost there. All right. <clears throat> and with grasp the earth with stanced up i'm going to i'm going to make him understand <laughs> my fists he won't even say anything he'll know, he'll simply know what i mean <laughs> get him <laughs> you don't seem to listen to reason but you can understand through this conversation i was going to punch punch eternity and let me roll to die and unwound that. Or how do I unwound it? Uh, you you hit a wound, and then you you unclick it. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you. I'm gonna lock in. Oh no, nah, I'm not gonna lock in. Red. I'm gonna lock in white. And I'm going to roll to two. So what color are you taking with your clay stat? Oh yes, this will be this will be influenced by whatever your whatever your uh, environment is impacting on you. It could be relevant. What do you want your clear stat to be, Willow, for this encounter? I want my clear stat to reflect eternity's uh, one of the eternity stats. Ah, his white stat is the one that you've been rubbing up against the most. <laughs> yes. Oh well, my god, does that mean that Willow gets to know what eternity's white stat is? You, it's like, I'm going to describe the feelings of it almost. You feel, it's a strange sensation. You're, you try to chase that white set down. You can tell that that was the one that was pushing back against the other ones when you were attempting to speak to him earlier. There's something here, Willow. You grasp it in your mind. Uh, pressing further is something that you can do later and will likely acquire burn. But it's here for now. Eternity's white stat. <laughs> Okay, you close. And he's in his red. She raises a fist up and easily guides your attack away. Who next, Willow? Uh, Ace. Uh, Ace. Yeah. Ace. You're, uh, you're in AI for me. I know, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to do a thing. You jump forwards. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, with with nothing in your mind, you use your pyromancy to order... Uh, to order eternity, uh, to order eternity's death, and your arm arcs backwards, the ultimate weapon. But there's another aspect to the ultimate weapon. And you hear her rocking back and forth, almost with glee, as she realizes, at least at this moment, she's been given unimpeded access to the body. So, something happens. You overarm, punch eternity in the face, and... Something extends outwards, almost like a pulse, as Seagazer is going to do the thing that she was tempted to do last time, and for a split second, you get a vision of a distant place, a towering figure watching over everything, big smile on her face, as... Ace, your body reaches forward, and she swings an arm down, mashing Eternity and her viewing platform to nothing. Your body flares back to existence after warping out for a moment, and you feel... Oh, you feel a slight amount of sanity return to yourself. It's... It's strange, definitely. It's not correct, but you can tell... Seagazer is adding control to your body again. I'm putting you up to the good old 100 for Seagazer. <clears throat> As you feel her control slip over you and your mind comes back from the void, wound your, uh, wound your green. Yippee, I, <clears throat> let me wound attribute. Uh, <laughs> God, which color is green? There we go. You're gonna wound green and replace it with, uh, with a black set. Yeah. She gives her tagged out for a say. She's she's cheering with glee from behind your eyes. Eternity? You feel it. What did that do? She applied a debuff. It's constantly eroding at him to some extent. You see Astral Sea literally leaking off of him. And it's like disgusting. 
your mind comes back. It swings, swims back to the surface. Sea Gazer and Yuri's like, thank you so much for the little test run. I think I got carried away. I shove. Sure, yeah. <clears throat> By the way, hate to break it to you, your little robot's broken. So I think I'll step in. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that was uh, unintentional. Mm. <laughs> oh no, she broke well before this happened. Don't worry, I've got your back, though. I... <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna untag your uh, black set. Ace, go. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, let's see, what would be the funniest thing to do? Uh, sure. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna hit him. Uh, you know, I was just like, <laughs> no, nothing yeah. clever, nothing fancy. Uh, I'm just going to uh, uh, roll to do. I, I probably roll to die first, just lock something yeah, yeah. in. I don't like to see you guys or fuck it. Uh, and then I'm going to roll to do. Uh, 19. Okay. 19. Yeah. He squares up, jumps, and you see the Astral Sea actually, like, leaving a lot of weight behind him. He twitches away and tries to continue throwing it off of himself. You can see him visibly getting more upset. What the hell was that? Uh, as he jumps away, uh, I'm going to ignite. Oh, yes, of uh, course. <laughs> I'm going to just ignite because, uh, guess what, baby? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to hit to explode. <laughs> he, you, you brush against him and literally individual starbursts build and he sort of ducks down and hits the side, falling into the muck for a moment. He picks himself up and looks down at his now dirty clothes, visibly upset. Ace, who next? Uh, he takes uh, two damage. <laughs> what direction are you sending him? Uh, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send him that way. Fuck it. This way. Boom. He touches down over there. Who next? Uh, who next? Uh, I'm gonna switch to Argos. <clears throat> Argos. <laughs> Argos. We'll address what's happening in the cube at the end of this act. Uh, you gonna control this Argos right now? Okay. <laughs> can I? Can I use my reflections? As... Yeah. Something. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, in that case, what I'm gonna do is <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and scan Doctor Verona. Ooh, lovely. Okay, you give Verona a scan. That's your free yeah. scan. She uh, looks over at you. You see, Verona's reflection is very intertwined with her body. Extremely potent. You can sense that. Yeah, she's been practicing for this moment a lot. Uh, yeah. No. If and you want I... any other data, you may ask. <laughs> uh, maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel that it. Creepy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not anyway. Uh, and then, so I got that as a free action? Uh, yes, you get that as a free. Then I'm also going to scan 04. Oh, nice, nice. 04. <clears throat> You, uh, you feel, you feel eyes upon you for a second as Argos' scan goes out and it locks in place. You, you observe her, her like, more. head fucking turn, like, like, almost like her neck just, like, turned directly <laughs> towards you. She's so, like, on edge right now that she feels it on the back of her fucking neck, turns, sees it's you, and then calms down. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You focus in? Okay. That good? Yeah, that's good for now. Okay. Uh, oh, 04. Okay. So. What? So it's 04 and List that haven't gone oh, yet, right? And this guy. <laughs> Have It's these three that haven't gone? Yes. Okay. And what color is Eternity right now? Eternity is locked into red. Okay. So I think that oh four, oh four. How much health do you have right now? You're at like Ooh, full let me health. Show ours. There we go. Okay. Let's go. God, yeah, she's really like scared to approach Eternity. To be honest, she's a little terrified of him. Um. She'll call out and be like, um, would it be better, like, to Verona, specifically? Yeah. 
Would it be better if I helped you or them? Uh, to support them. I think they're gonna need it. Okay, she's gonna launch herself into the air, and <clears throat> I guess... Yeah, she's... You guys are pushing Eternity this direction, so she's she'll like a... come over here and get ready to sort of, like, try and push him back towards you. <laughs> you move over there. Roll to die for me. Set up an action. I'm trying. Oh, is it? Is it? Oh, it's a little go. laggy. Okay. You you place yourself over there. You lock in. You get ready. You all see that. And then, Ace. Yeah. You make eye contact with someone. This guy. <laughs> he looks at you. He gives you a thumbs up and raises his assault rifle. And then gets down on one knee and starts to aim it. And you're like, wait a second. That's... That's the guy. And you have uh, five individual panels of flashbacks to this one man where you're like, where you close the distance, fought a swamp monster. He's like, whoa, good job. He gives you a thumbs up. He's going to support you next turn. <laughs> Yo, I remember him. <laughs> Hold on. It's like, what? you go, wait, I remember him. Sorry, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope you remember him. He's your sibling. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay. Uh, supports on you. Eternities go. You know. <laughs> hey, Willow Ace, roll to dies. Yippee. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I'm locked out. So, yeah. Blessed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I rolled to die for me. Uh, you don't get any bonuses on it. His crushing style literally carries over your guard, Willow. And it's like getting hit with a freight train. It impacts over your arm, but he rolls a 1, 16 without your bonuses, Willow. You beat him. You somehow block the attack and he lets out an O as he wheels his fist around and <laughs> slams Ace in the face. Uh, you are going to roll backwards. 15 damage. I get to counterattack. You do! Attack me while I'm stanced up. Oh my god! <laughs> You're a wise guy. <laughs> oh, she take one of these! Oh! oh god. God. Roll again! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! You! Boom! You you literally cross counter him in the face, and he for a second is like, oh, but I have the odds this time. And you duck down, build up all of your power, and spring forward using grasp. You feel muscles tear as your body pushes itself even further beyond. You send him flying backwards. He touches down, and then he's going to arc up, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna use his red stat ignite attack. Um, roll to die versus this. All right. <clears throat> okay, let me see. 24. Okay, unfortunately, something's about to happen. He overarms and... <clears throat> he... Oh, God. He... <clears throat> uh, the attack comes down directly at your head for 15 damage, Willow. And then he raises one palm up and slowly, like... He basically, like, places his four fingers against you, and then just juts them into your body a little bit. Um... Can I ignite to push my roll to die? <clears throat> you can ignite to push your roll to die. Yeah! Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to end my stance up to ignite for free. Yeah. yeah. And get, uh, get that 1d6. Lovely. Give me that 1d6. Alright, give me some luck, give me some luck. <clears throat> Five! You barely <laughs> overcome him as you feel you feel this attack, Willow. He was about to wound you and then seal grasp the earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he he ignites his red and then assumes the same old stance as before. Hand raised lightly in the air. He'll pass the turn to you, Willow, instead of a new act. Oof. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Somebody somebody's Hello? still gonna go. Yeah, yeah. We've got two people. I wasn't thinking about you. I was thinking about List. Sorry. <laughs> uh, List is going to ignite to... Uh, she's pulling out her fucking Tommy gun and just shooting this guy. Rattle him. Or... Uh, no, she's gonna roll to die, hold her action. 
She's gonna wait for the start of a new act. Our ghost in the cube. Cube ghost. Cube ghost. Cube turn. Cube turn. Oh. Hello? <clears throat> <laughs> I guess uh, Argos Cube is going to scan the cube. Yeah, you're going to scan the inside of that, that cube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where oh, am I? Where are you indeed? It's like when the GM puts you in the jail <laughs> in that MMO. Yeah, uh, you are. You have been. Uh, you are the Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you step onto the tiles and sort of like test the area around you. You're cut off from your other self completely now. You are now two separate Argoses. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> I was afraid of this happening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it'll happen. You walk into the cube. This is no longer this is no longer combat. This one ain't in combat. He's in the cube. Well, this is a weird place. You start to move through the cube. I, I just assume, like, he probably did an attack where he teleports everyone to, like, their own yeah. nightmare dimension to face their inner demons or something. Not you that seems specifically, like a boss Argos. Move. Not you. Yeah, no. You, of all people. That guy back there, you healed one too many times. Fuck you specifically. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'll start looking for the, you know, the key to breaking yeah. out of here. You open, the my you open the cupboard and you come out of this cupboard. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, what about this trap door? You open that trap door, you come out of... Uh, not that trap door. <laughs> this trap door. Hmm. <laughs> is that a letter on the desk? That is a letter on the desk. Oh. Well, who's it for? Uh, Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Argos, you're invited. You open wow. the letter. And you see a you see a phrase. It's a very simple instruction. Collect 100 stickers. You stare at it. Huh. Yeah, apparently it's an order to collect 100 stickers. Hey. No. <laughs> You turn, and you start moving. You're gonna look away. And Darkos, it's so funny that this is you. It's so funny that you, of all people, got sent to Cube. Um, you start to walk. And you move your way through this place. <clears throat> hmm? Time seems to pass, and it blurs, and what is a minute feels like an hour, and then an hour feels like a day. And your vision starts to fade. <laughs> <clears throat> there it goes. That's what you picking. Will you continue? Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty vague. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with yeah. You hit the yeah button. And you feel time set in even more. Were this anyone else, I would have them roll roll to die, specifically to withstand the crushing pressure of a, mar a mental marathon like this. Weirdly, I'm not going to have you do that. Argos, by your sensation, a day has passed, and then a day and a half. How are you feeling? Hungry. <laughs> Am I? You're not. Oh. No hunger, yeah. no nothing. You continue to move through. You walk. Still haven't found any stickers. You ha, uh, you started That's finding fine. them at some point. Oh, Did okay. you collect them? Oh, okay. Once I start finding them, then yeah. I'm gonna like see if figure out if there's a pattern to how they're distributed. Uh, Give... Try and come up with a strategy on how to best collect them quickest Ooh. time. Give me a roll to die and then a roll to do. Okay. I only have orange right now. You only have I... orange right now. Yeah, you're in the orange body, which fits because that's no. how I'm enduring this, I guess. And then... yeah. Ooh. You start to efficiently and effectively move through the place, collecting sticker after sticker. The trial completes, and you find yourself again lost at the start of the maze again. You're met with a familiar screen. 
Will you continue? Yeah, I'm on a roll. <laughs> dude, my friends are out there dying, but I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> collecting stickers, dude. This you, is free. You collect a hundred stickers, and then it's uh, no, then it uh, it it shifts into. Uh, we have a thread that uh, spans the entire uh, the entire maze, and um, uh, obligingly, do you do this? You have a thread that yeah. spans the entire maze. Uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, let's try that. You start to do it. You start to weave and weave and weave and Argos. Okay. <clears throat> I need. Uh, do me a favor. Roll to die for me now. Uh. Or no, give me another. Give me myself. <laughs> yeah, no, give me another roll to do. <clears throat> Jesus Christ! Of course you kick ass at these rolls specifically. Problem or, with puzzle games is you, you don't always have to solve the puzzle. You just have to figure out what the dev was thinking. <laughs> Argos, you sit in a cube meant to erode your sanity. You can tell that. Like at some level, this is this is support sort of supposed to what uh, be what happens, but the screen comes up again and again and again, and every time you mash the same button, <laughs> very calmly and confidently solving each of the trials as they come, trial after trial after trial, and you just work your way through, and then something extremely unusual happens as you see. Are you kidding? I beat Donkey Kong Country without save states. <laughs> <laughs> Another voice chimes up. Another entry on the menu. Separate. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Seemingly a little upset. <laughs> 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 While you keep hitting the uh, yes option, it's temporarily blurred out. You see an announcement. The voice that resounds out, you expect to be Fate Weaver, but it's... A little tie to one of the ends of one of your fingers. A, a voice significantly clearer, almost like a bell rings out. This is boring. She raises her hands in the air. You feel Fio's connection around one of your uh, one of your limbs. There's no fun to this story. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm more than happy to help create something even better, so let's not engage with the endlessly circular misery cube, okay? Okay. I mean, I, I like to pride myself on being able to make boring <laughs> gameplay interesting, but <laughs> I'll... <laughs> there's a better story here. <laughs> Am I being rude by not letting you just go at it with the cube forever? Oh, not at all. Really, the other half of my brain is looking for a way out of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Not good well... TV. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll work with that half of you then. Come on. Second prompt. She She shares with you another one. Absolutely. You say this as the cube remains, but for you on the outside, Argos, the intervention of something that could only be considered an angel suddenly flares through your body, your mind. Argos, your real body, I'd like to register, is still inside the cube. <laughs> it's been in the cube for a while, but something changes in the air. You feel a redirection of energy and force from in there over to you, as, again, you feel flame reignite inside of yourself. Good job escaping the cube, my friend. Um, elsewhere, let me move the camera around as we enter the final phases of this. Uh, let me grab something. Let's do this one. There we go. Ah, of course. <clears throat> we get the good old Roll20 music box breaking. Give me a hot sec while I refresh. Yeah. Yeah. Did Argos just vibe check his way out of an endless maze? Yes. Okay. You too, with oh. the September creature, can vibe check out of a maze. You too, with the September creature, can vibe check yeah. yourself. I got someone on my side. 
<laughs> Guys, I'm this serious. really is not the first time that Argos has been stuck in an endless maze. <laughs> <laughs> he does this professionally, you see. <laughs> okay. Direct counter to this move. Uh, oh boy. Oh, I know what I need to do. Okay, okay. I think we're I think we're accelerating to this phase. That's fun. That's fun. That's fine. Um, let me get everything set. Uh, hey, Trouble, you ready for shit to go bat shit? Sure. I'm okay. carrying Aura. You are? Okay. Me and the bestie. Start playing. Let's do this one. <clears throat> trouble, you follow. You follow Eternity. Not or not, not, Jesus. You follow Logic's boats, one after the other. You sort of, you wind up, like, hitching a ride on... You wind up hitching a ride on a destroyer of your own. This will take a hot second to load. Are we on the purple one or on the other purple one? Purple one. <clears throat> okay. You notice an area where it seems Logic is circling his destroyers and he's set up a large object or like a drum in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the ocean. And down here, I'm gonna grab an aura. You come to a you come to a realization. Or it's like pointing like, huh, coordinates are roughly, hey, Trouble? Yeah. This is, uh. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Directly above trailhead. trailhead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they watch over for a split second as, again, another brilliant beaming flare and flash of light again adorns this part of the world a crown of fire as the plate well above all of you guys down there bursts and starts to pitch downwards a curtain of water coming down on your head trouble oh what do you do so Logic's plan was to blow a hole in the bottom of the ocean and dump the ocean on Eternity. I understand. <clears throat> <sighs> okay, um, this ship is going to get dragged down there, or can, do you need me to take you? I'm going to stop the ocean from collapsing. I, I'm going to, uh, is this safe? No, take, yeah, take me with. All right. Um, <clears throat> she's going to pick him up with one arm and then dive directly into the now collapsing, like, massive whirlpool. For everyone down below, all you see is a curtain of water. And then, it parts on the very edge of Eternity's fog wall. Trailhead is washed away and utterly submerged beneath the surface of the ocean. But, you look up, and you see Treble extend a gravity well, pushing it back on every side. This is no longer an issue of fight eternity. Until neither of you remains, it is get out of here before the ocean crushes you alive. Eternity pauses. Hand raised. He's still waiting for your response, Willow. Another attack. All right. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we... We should leave. <laughs> we should. Are, you're still right. thinking, Don't right? worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Trouble, can hold, Trouble can hold the entirety of the ocean above your head for a while. Just keep going. <laughs> 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 Believe. I know we're thinking the same thing, Tiny, but we can't do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you listen to me? <laughs> His eyes close. Listening was the only ability I once had. 
I was in charge of listening to everyone in the world. I was in charge of maintaining the wishes of those lost to the flame. My ability to listen was carved from my body. He taps his throat weirdly. I can no longer hear anything. Hello, kind of this shocked for a moment. <clears throat> You shouldn't be doing this. He closes his eyes. <clears throat> Trust me, I'm doing this all for the sake of a world in which I can live again. I'm doing this so I can live. And I guess I'm gonna... He squares up and raises a fist. He's in his stance right now. He will hard counter you if he if you get him. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight. <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm not backing down. <laughs> okay, give me a roll to do. I love it that he's locked into the martial phase and is just punching you. I'm like, I've got all these other phases. No, he's gonna okay. So this attack, he reflects the damage back at you. You go in at him, and then, boom, a pulse, 16 damage through your body. Tell me what you're locking in of his. I'm gonna lock in, uh, oh man, I forgot what each ability did. Uh, red is the ignores defenses. White is the lowers your maximum HP, but you know his stat is the lowest in that. Um, I'll use orange. Orange! Okay, he locks in orange. As he reflects the damage, take a wound, Willow. All right, uh, I hit the wound button, which is over here. Going to wound my green. Okay. <clears throat> and then roll to recover. Lovely. 13 HP. Ugh, you pick yourself back up. And then I'm going to end my turn and stand stop. You stance the fuck up? Who gets your next turn? Um, this is a new act, right? It is. Man, I, I kind of want Eternity to, to clap back at me. And <laughs> <laughs> do, it, do, it, do it, do it. Eternity, what you got? Okay, Eternity, uh, give me a roll to... Oh my god, give me a roll to die. <laughs> I love that he keeps rolling ones. That yeah. is like... I, dude. <clears throat> Imagine if he hadn't rolled seven ones this time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, god he's my still... stance up. To yeah, to ignite for free and <laughs> six. Hey Willow, you and Eternity are actually kind of wearing each other down a little bit, and you pick yourself up, you ignite your stand stuff, and you're like, oh, barely. You raise your fist and you duck to the side. He raises his arms. He'll um, he'll uh, the attack carries through. It's gonna hit Saru. Uh, so the way this attack works, the attack flies forward, hits Saru. That for him is going to be, um, thirty six damage, but. There is one rule to this attack. Chains of Agony. You're allowed to split it between your entire group. Saru puts up his hand. I can take it. <laughs> oh, four is willing to help split the damage with Saru. Uh, Saru, will, uh, Saru will pass you uh, 15. Okay. Take some damage. <clears throat> oh, you're going to take some damage? He'll yeah. hand you 15. <laughs> and then he'll take six. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like a you problem. <laughs> okay, he passes some damage to two of you guys. Let me hit show bars on Argos. Oh my god, Argos, why I are you like that? reduced the damage on 04, but it didn't lower. Uh, okay, let me... That was 15. Got you. There you go. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, uh, next up, uh, Eternity is gonna pass it to, uh, let's go Verona. Verona squares the fuck up. She'll roll. Eternity is going to, um, do the good old... He's smart enough. He pauses himself. He stops. And then, ping, he's going to hit Verona back for six damage. Uh, what? And Verona's going to swap him over to Ace. Yeah? How well do you think you can take your flame being reduced? I mean, I'm used to it by now. She's locking him into white and then passing you the turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's only one thing to do, I guess. Uh, and so uh, Ace is going to do is going to 
uh, walk up, uh, and probably just like, you know, there we go. No. Get, get a, surround <laughs> this guy. Yeah. GM! Uh, no, is this flying game? <laughs> yeah. So now, uh, with Seagazer going to go in for, uh, stab. Oh yeah, wait, I have to. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna lock in your Seagazer. Oh yeah, I fucking. There we go. Black, so that's like a, that's a plus one, so it's just like, uh. Yeah. You know, so, He'll roll to die versus this. He jumps the attack, uh, and uh, will land. Yeah. I'm yeah, going, what yeah. I'm going to do is I'm going to spend 15 flame for yeah. a boost. Keep so, it going. Uh, yeah, so 15 flame. Wait, fuck. That's my HP. <laughs> Sorry, I Ace see, I see dies. Blue. And I go, yeah, sure. Uh, minus 15 flame. Bam. Uh, that, so I add a 1d6. Boop, 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 boop. Six. So will that hit? That? Uh, six. No, you need more. Need more? Oh, oh wait, no, 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 you're good, you're good, you're good. That hits, that hits, that hits. You're good, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, cool. You stab forward and actually catch him with Seagazer, and you see the astral sea burns on him actually grow deeper. Tell me, where did you find something like this? Uh, well, it's kind of a part of me, so I didn't really find it. Uh. <laughs> Excellent. So if I rip you apart, I might find it inside. I mean... <laughs> Ace thinks about this. Well, the sword doesn't really exist yet, so I don't think you'll find anything. But maybe in the future I'll use it to kill you, and then, you know, might exist then. Spit on him, spit on him, spit on him, spit on him, I spit on him. <laughs> <laughs> Siggy's are just yelling in your ear. Uh, you ignite him. Uh, what next? Uh, just, uh, explode, so... It, you I cause him to detonate violently. Uh, two, sp two spaces, one direction. Uh, two spaces, one direction. Uh, what's your HP at, Willow? Uh, it's at 13. Uh, you mind taking two more damage? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I I, I hit him into you. I <laughs> dealing two damage to you and then also two damage to him again. He's wearing down. You realize he's starting to get, he's, his, his stance is weakening slightly. He, you can clearly tell that this is a martial stance. And then, hey, Ace, give yourself that 15 flame back, actually. Oh, okay. You did that for a boost, right? Yeah. <laughs> Got your back. <laughs> oh. This man passed you a D6 in that oh, moment that you closed in. Me too. Uh, we got sent to the gamer cube first. You closed in, and this guy like gives you the most douchiest douche nod. He fired off a shot and barely clipped Eternity's back, holding him in place. <laughs> uh, okay. And, uh, Who next? I, I'm probably just gonna spend 50 flame to take another turn. Yeah, understandable. <laughs> okay, why not? Uh, and so uh, going going for it again. Sixteen. You why step I, why am I not locked in? That's weird. I don't know. Oh, oh okay. obviously my okay. sheet isn't like uh, like uh, <clears throat> updating with my pog like these uh, my bars and stuff, yeah. but that's fine. So, yeah, uh, no, this I, is it's uh, roll twenty is definitely breaking under the weight of this combat. Yeah, that's uh, fine. I, you know I, how it I is. succeed because I I like <laughs> yeah. For bonus and then all that. How stuff, much damage? So. How much damage? Uh, how much damage? Uh, wait, I, I ignited, so I, but I rolled yeah. sixteen, so I'm fine. So uh, how much yeah. damage? That's like five damage, right? Five damage. Yep. Uh, yeah. so you jut your sword forward and stab into him, and then, oh my god, <laughs> it finally happens. You deplete his HP, and you see his eyes close, and he takes the attack, pats himself down, sort of again. Has his blood, and I wound him for the first time. <laughs> what attribute yeah. are we wounding, gamers? You actually you drive the sword in, and he's like, interesting. <laughs> oh, fuck. What do you What do you guys think is this, like most what, dangerous? Shit, which right? one? Wait, which Which is the least hard. pleasant? I think his orange is a plus nine, right? It is. Yeah. yeah. Give her that fucking orange. Get that shit out of here. You wound his orange, and you see him settle himself for a moment. All right. Well then, he straightens himself up slightly and gets prepared to, uh, like, he deepens his stance slightly. All right. Well, where we left off then? He says with a smile. Uh, who next, Ace? Uh, who next? Uh, I'm gonna have uh, Argos. You haven't gone yet, right? My good buddy Argus. Okay. Am I 
Other Argos is still locked in this. Other Argos. Uh, that is literally an inert body now. It seems like whatever happened, your flame's been retrieved. Oh, okay. So I'm yeah. all, all, yeah. You're, you just experienced time in the time cube. You just spent a day and a half <laughs> doing that shit. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> huh. Okay. But, okay. But my body's still in there. Yeah. You're right. flesh and blood body. You're in your simulacrum now fully. You are a hundred percent in your simulacrum, and you're like, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, hmm. You got your well, free scan. I, yeah, which I'm gonna use to scan. Uh, <laughs> what is it, Brad over here? Yeah, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, mm -hmm. give me, uh, give me that good right. old roll to do. Advantage. And then I'm going to scan myself. You, you already oh. scanned yourself, technically, because of the... Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna mark you. I'll, yeah. I'll mark you for this. Doink, yeah, doink. You, you scanned your other self, but it's also yourself, so it's just like, Yeah, you know, so it's still connected. Uh, you'd, you'd port it over, and you get Brad? You get, you're getting Brad? Yes. I wonder what this could mean. This could mean anything, really. Smile. Uh. Dang. Okay. Um. <sighs> yeah. You really just. Oh man. Yeah. Gotta formulate a new plan now. <laughs> you know what? Let's keep. Let's capitalize on a good thing and uh, mm -hmm. use these tactics oh. for what I like to call. An all-out attack. All attack. Ah, you start to close in on the man, and, um... Quick, before he gets new mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely very wise. Um, let me, let me do this. Uh, everyone has their moment. They, they sort of focus in. And... <clears throat> it's time, one after the other. Okay, so, we're gonna start... Left to right. Uh, Argos, give me your roll to do. And then I'll narrate based on exactly what's happening. Argos, okay. Verona. List. Brad. <laughs> oh! Brad! He's <laughs> in clutch. Brad always comes in clutch. Uh, Willow, give me your roll to do. <clears throat> Alright. Sarah's gonna give his. Uh, and then O4, yours. And then mine. Or, no, ace. She rolled a yeah, two. Ace. Oh, yeah. two. Okay. Uh, do 11. I lock something in yet, or? You would, yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Let, me, let me just, uh, I'll unlock that, but I'll lock in my yellow just because it's there. And then I'm going to, whoop, 18. Fuck. Argus, you prep your all out attack before he gets new mechanics. For a split second, you feel it flare up. You feel. His posture change, he raises his hands to either side. And you can tell he's about to change, but you stop in the instance before. I'm gonna show you what is about to happen. Timekeeper 2. Summons four towering titans that point large, desaturating lasers. On top of Oblivion style. On top of Reap and Sow, which is a drain and CC combination. It's like, whatever's about to hit is very bad. He's about to combine every single form you've seen up to this point and just do it all at once. And uh, on top of the chaos. So you push and everyone ducks down and it's time to attack. Uh, Argos, tell me what your attack is. Okay. I'm just going to use a big old rocket launcher. <laughs> You take the shot, Verona ducks down like, hell yes! She follows you up, takes the flame from your rocket launcher, converts it into crystal shards as Eternity detonates in the foreground. And you watch him redirect each of them and sort of like guide them away as Willow, what's your attack? Willow does a starlight punch at this guy. You throw a starlight punch straight at the man as I'm gonna hold on. Let me let me get the right music for this. This is very important. Um let me get uh let me get this. Uh, 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 this one. <clears throat> Eternity sets himself 
watching the starlight punch come in at his head, and in this case, we will actually roll to die versus yours. Ah, oh, with the wound. Willow, you rolled. Oh my god. Willow, your attack actually traces past, and the first two attacks, the man parried almost with a, like, almost with a passive uh, motion. Uh, this attack actually catches him in the face, and he whirls around as if shocked as Saru leaps up behind him, trying to grab him, and um, Eternity is going to grab Saru and just guide him towards the ground, slamming him there. You see Saru's entire body, like, give way for a moment, flame exploding from himself as you see the longer this fight wears on. You see it in Willow's body. You see it in Saru's. Your f the feedback from your reflections is going wild. Half of Saru's face becomes engulfed in scales. Ace, you wheel up behind Eternity. What do you do? Uh, his, his defense roll's 19, right? Or is he going to... Uh, he turns around and stares at you. It is indeed a 19. Oh, I, don't know, I rolled an 18, so that means I have to spend 15 more flame. <laughs> <laughs> to get this, dude? <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, let's see if I, I have to escalate or not. Nope. Okay, cool. <laughs> you catch the man and he's forced to his uh, knees for a split second before he leaps back up in the air. Oh, four, what's your what's your plan of attack? I think she is literally just fucking diving on this guy. You dive bomb and streak past as he's in a stance right now. He hits you and redirects you and boom, you slam into the water with a large, like a tidal wave. Uh, List is going to jump at him and go for it. Lists was, oh God, 28. Okay. Uh, Eternity raises another arm, prepping himself, and Lys just moves forward, lifts her cello case, and just brains him with the entire thing. His entire body shakes for a moment as he, as he steps backwards. His gaze, like, flicks between, like, Willow, Lys, and then settles on Ace for a split second of, like, huh. <laughs> I didn't take, uh, World 12 for the type to have such strong martial warriors. Ha! <laughs> You're forgetting about the strongest of all. <laughs> Brad rolls up. He's got a crit 20. Let's see if it's enough. Uh, Brad's crit 20 is not enough. He unloads, his, he unloads his assault rifle in eternity. Simply just steps to the side. Your training must have been agonizing. I applaud you at the very least for that. He, it seems like he's looking at your body really closely, Ace. And he twitches over to Willow. I can't see exactly what shape your flame has taken, but it's clear that you've bent it into an absurd, uh, it's, it appears that you've bent it into an absurd blade if it's capable of reaching even me. And then he stops and looks at List and he's like, I have no idea what to make of you, to be honest. <laughs> and List's like, wouldn't have it any other way. She preps herself and sort of like flicks a shield out to the side as you all lock in place. And the man then... Of course, settles into his next form. But from here, a few things happen. <clears throat> Let me go here. In the burning devastation of a nearby area, this. <clears throat> This one. Yeah. No. Uh. There we go. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> Someone stands in the burning, distorted devastation of the swamp. She lies there. The motion she's taken up to this point carried her body this far, but it won't any longer. She looks down at her limbs, no longer fully functional. Uh, clothing mostly tattered, burnt away. Skeletal robotic body exposed. She thinks to herself, what exactly is she doing here? Before 
There's a present says. Gonna roll something really quick. Very important. This? Ah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> okay. Excellent. <laughs> Keep that in mind. <clears throat> Mike touches down next to say, seeing the burning, like, mess out in front of her. Uh, she looks down at Say and is like, Say, hey, hey, stay with me. Focus, focus. Um, uh, the ocean's coming down and we've got to move. Say is mostly unresponsive. Mike's expression falls for a second. Her gaze sort of setting. Okay. Okay, um, we gotta get out of here. She puts a hand on Say. And for a moment feels an impulse. Something spread from a far earlier time. It's a simple thought she's been turning over in her head again and again, almost absorbing every single brain, remaining brain cell she has. Say thinks back on another time, quite some, uh, quite some distance ago, another life, another being, another existence. Something that passed her by. Studying to get stationed in a place like this is an effort that usually takes a lifetime. In fact, the relative length of expertise required for not only a medical degree, but furthermore, beyond that, the very scientific applications demanded on the lunar base were uh, more than she could uh, possibly accomplish during a life that, say, had other sources of fulfillment. Main focus was study. Main goal was obviously to head on up there. The infection was spreading, a wash of flame across the world. New energy source was tainted, apparently. As a result, they needed bodies, they needed minds, they needed people who would focus primarily on the recovery. How do you push back a disease like this? Once it takes root, it infects all material. It doesn't matter if it's living or dead. It moves throughout all things and consumes mindlessly. Those that volunteered for the lunar colony were those who accepted a certain fact that would likely not be coming down to the earth below. Not at any time soon. She remembers this moment. She remembers her years and years of long study. She also remembers the fire that consumed this place before she had a chance to do anything. Say's body simply floats in place, but her vision focuses in for a moment. Why, if she fought this hard, did it all come to this one point? Getting in the way of a guy's missile, she's not a tank. There's no reasonable uh, result for this. Laughter is probably waiting for her elsewhere. Instead, a different sensation swims to the surface of her mind. It's something recent and minor. Frankly, for most people, it... Probably isn't very much. This is an action that most people would take, almost reflexively. But for this little being, it meant a lot. Say's eyes sort of flare open. Mike getting the sensation shared between the two of them. It is a vision of something that happened acutely recently. With their most dearly established best friend. Something somewhat simple. Basil, do you remember that moment? It was something calm, right? Something quiet. Oh, yeah. For you, you fell off to the side. It obviously physiology wasn't uh, a concern of everybody else here. But for Say, she reached out removing her arm and giving you something. A case to contain your brain. But, do you remember what you said to her at that time? I said, I think I understand you better now. 
And you said the most important words in the world to a being like this. Thank you. you. Everything flares back to reality in front of Say. She feels this quiet moment. Sensations were time and time again. She snuck away to get something done, to rebuild the roof of this far-flung swamp. For this moment, at the very least, that girl who decided to go to the moon, to throw her life away for the chance to finally help someone, felt that sensation. Finally, at the very least, she'd helped. Mike stops herself and quietly squares up, feeling the presence of something else closing in through the environment. It takes one crunching step after the other. Moving back in this direction. Oh, I hit her too hard. Thought I lost sight of her. Takes another step forwards. Slowly squares herself up, putting herself between Say and the imposing figure. And then, of course, something uh, disconnects itself from the shadows, sprints, and slams Mike directly in the side. Mike is going to roll to die at this exact moment. Oh, no, no, no. She's recovered those wounds. Two, three. Mike tucks her head down, grips the boar at the, uh, by the sides, lifts it aloft, and with a powerful roar, bodily throws it at the other willow. It streaks through the air, a porcine missile striking willow and driving her backwards. On the other side, uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. <clears throat> as the water bores its way downwards, <clears throat> Eternity assumes his final stance and preps himself for the combat. But something actually disrupts the piece of what's happening. It's a strange sensation. His arm picks up in the air. Ace, roll to, roll to die for me. Alright. Okay. This attack travels straight down towards you. And then you feel the strangest sensation in the world. God, God does it feel like you've been here before as someone who is capable of protecting you from exactly one attack <laughs> appears at your side. She touches down like a, uh, with like almost like a an undeserved confidence. The marshmallow who frankly shouldn't be here Positions reversed for one says, huh? <laughs> Eternity's attack strikes empty air as Riddle yanks you backwards. She's holding on to you, lifting you up. Seagazer is throwing a huge fucking fit. <clears throat> You're a little late. Every... <laughs> Wait a second. He turns. He looks over at the cube. Wait a second. Put you in one of those. Put him in one of those. Riddle like, oh, uh, don't worry about that. Found the exit. She says with a smile, he pauses, and his expression sort of, like, falls for a second. His mouth hangs slack. What? <laughs> uh, Riddle turns over and looks at, uh, Ace, and then looks at Willow. <clears throat> uh, hey, Argos! She waves into the distance. <laughs> oh. mm. Hey, Riddle. We gonna handle this guy? She gets an expression. Hey, Willow. <clears throat> I, I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you too. Hey, uh, despite all this, I think you're actually needed elsewhere. I think you could leave the cleanup to us. Eternity stops. Cleanup? <laughs> well, it was not, not speaking with you, Eternity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bigger fish to fry. If Will says it, then it's true. <laughs> I left an isolation barrier back that way. She gestures over to the wall. Follow that out. Uh, somebody else needs your help right now. <laughs> Riddle, or, sorry, Riddle. Willow winks at Eternity before just leaving. <laughs> Eternity pauses. He stops and he looks over at Ace for weirdly confirmation here. His eyes close. 
the aura changed completely. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's what happens when someone important actually comes around. <laughs> <laughs> Eternity rights himself, and he assumes the same fighting stance. One arm over the other. Saru darts backwards. Treble, you see all of this happen. <laughs> Treble just with the biggest fucking smile on her face, like, oh, I see. I didn't even need to do it in the first place. <laughs> Riddle's like, okay, everybody, all at once. And then Treble, you get a you get a call on your comms. Hey, are any of those destroyers currently active? Yeah, it looks like he's driving all of them into the hole. Want to send one of those our way? <laughs> sure. <laughs> hey, Ace. Yeah. <laughs> she gestures with her thumb. You see a boat eclipse the hole in the distance. <laughs> what do you want me to do with that, huh? <laughs> Handle I don't know. it. Handle it. <laughs> 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 These two are insufferable. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> you you see this destroyer coming down in your direction. Uh, Eternity preps himself. Ace, I'm giving you the turn. I, I, uh, I'll be back in a second. I spend five flame to teleport away. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, Ace? <laughs> uh, someone's got to aim that thing. <laughs> Trouble. High up there in the sky. I'm just gonna create an I'm gonna create an ace into trouble over here. Um here you go. <clears throat> trouble, ace flares into life on the boat next to you. You're suspending it in midair. <laughs> hey there. Uh, he salutes, I'm handling it. <laughs> you know last time? Make sure you hit him more than once for me this time. <laughs> Look, I, he pats the, the like destroyer, and it's just like, look, this baby, it's a lot more than like one. It's like more about quality than quantity, I guess. <laughs> Ace, you lock your arm in, and CK's just like, okay, let me at him, let me at him, let me at him. <laughs> I, so what do you mean, let let you at him? You Come don't on, stick, stick your arm into the side of it, and then give me your arm. Give me your arm. Give me your arm. I want your arm. Oh, fine. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> she relishes this moment as she's like, yes, 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 yes. Uh, utter delight spreads throughout Sea Gazer as Ace, you slam your arm through one of the battleship sides. Uh, and then over the, uh, over the, oh my god, over the comms, you hear garbled, crackling. Uh, Hey, nerd boy. <laughs> it sucks. It's the person who was driving the truck with you. Uh huh. <laughs> I need somebody. I need somebody to aim this thing. You mind spotting for us? Uh, aim what thing? You look up. You see a battleship pointed downwards. <laughs> Come on, it's about to fire, it's about to fire off every gun it has. Come on, come on, come on. Aim, aim, aim. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> sure. I'm gonna... I'm gonna patch my visual feed through single-handed savior or something. And <laughs> You're gonna basically... Or maybe, like, make a little hard light laser that I can find on the target. Air Raider! Air Raider. You're Air Raider. playing Air Raider! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Give me a roll to do. <laughs> okay, and then another roll to do. Okay, okay, that's your advantage. You, let me, let me do this. The boat aims straight down. Ace, you hijack its systems. Argos, you aim. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> and it's time to go. Eternity simply sets himself there. He doesn't even bother moving. Not a single step. And then, the frustrating, frustrating one that changed the atmosphere. She snaps her fingers, and an isolation barrier builds around Eternity. She flashes him the shittiest little grin, and then ducks and scrambles away before the hail of bullets comes down. Eternity stares up 
and watches as the battleship, one after the other, begins to fire shot after shot after shot after shot. Ace riding it into the ground. List dives backwards, everybody moves. Eternity raises his hands to either side. He'll simply freeze it. He'll stop time. He'll use any of his tricks to stop it from getting any closer. Yeah. And then, nothing happens. <laughs> Literally nothing occurs. And he looks over. He looks to the side at the clown that put the barrier at his feet. Riddle once blows him a kiss and dives into the water while disappearing. <laughs> Ace, give me the roll to do of a fucking lifetime. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, it... <laughs> I put him over here. Surely I can't fuck this up. Surely you cannot fuck this up. Yeah. Surely I cannot imagine Ace losing as you ride the battleship in and an explosion of water and fire covers Trailhead. But this isn't the only story to happen today. <clears throat> through the flame you carry forwards and you see mike engaged with someone in life or death combat the person you see in front of you it's you wait what <laughs> willow Whoa, oh my god thank you <laughs> mike Mark, who the hell is this it's my it's, twin it's <laughs> you <laughs> she yells panicking okay willow it's time time for 1v1v mike combat <laughs> let's fucking go mike locks herself in and she's like thank god you're here oh my god oh my god <clears throat> I'm so grateful. She seems so relieved. Okay. Mm. Willow, your corpse juts to the side. She readies her stance. Hero Hunter protocol. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she readies herself, and the two number ones of Opia square up to throw hands. You get the first move, Willow. All right. I'm. So you're my corpse. Can you speak? She turns and looks at you, and you are my missing flame, I guess. I see. <clears throat> well, I hope you'll I hope you understand one thing about being Willow. She looks over at you and tilts her head slightly. <laughs> is that a, is that Willow never fights fair? And she <laughs> snaps the fingers <laughs> and brings Swampzilla here. <laughs> <laughs> Something explodes out of the background as that's a that's a tiny swampzilla. It touches down and just starts it starts mauling her. Hold on, swampzilla rolls. Uh 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 uh. Willow, give me a uh, give me a roll to do. All right. Thrash compactor. <laughs> Swampzilla is going to use the technique that he never got a chance to use otherwise. Given another merciful opportunity by Willow, he is going to jump forwards and attempt to thrash compactor this clone. <coughs> he rolls bad as this Willow. <coughs> this Willow sets herself ready and then arms herself up. As she guards herself well, Swampzilla sweeping past, and then Willow, you jump, leap, and throw a punch at him. Mike's gonna close in too. Mike is gonna attack three times on any successes. You're gonna see what happens. One, two, three. Uh, one. <clears throat> Fail. Two. Success. Okay. <clears throat> Mike, uh, Mike closes in and sweeps two times, and, uh, she has this ability. Muse of Unknown. She can ignite to pass an ally a turn. When she uses oh. this technique, this triple punch, she does not deal normal damage. Instead, she per only performs ignite effects. Uh, functionally, she punches you three times and ideally passes her partner three turns. Oh, Willow, take an extra turn. Go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Willow is going to start using Grasp the Earth and immediately just try and punch herself. <laughs> Give me a roll to do. Oh my you God, close in, bad. and she she picks her arms up over her head, and boom! It carries through. Oh wait, hold on. Let me let me let me let me do this. 
You feel her attack barely exceed your own. And then Willow over here. Someone barely raises an almost severed arm and sends you one of her fangs. It reinforces your attack and the attack streaks past. The clash is succeeding. Your clone ducks backwards and is going to raise both arms and attempt to double wear it, you and Mike. <clears throat> okay, she's going to do, do, uh, two rolls to die. Mike, Willow. <clears throat> All right, oh, I'm gonna end my turn in stance stuff oh, as well. Oh, of course. <clears throat> So two rolls to die. <clears throat> there we go. You, he, she crosses over. And in this exact moment, Willow, you managed to duck low. And Mike similarly ducks low. They, they both move to the other side. And she touches the very edge of the flames, licking about. She uh, sets her stance again and preps herself. Start of a new round. Uh, Mike's going to go first. She rushes forward. One, two, three. That's four. Uh, Willow, you get one, two. Uh, you get two attacks. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right. One. That's one, that one. <laughs> two. Two! <laughs> so, here's what happens. Mike swings high, you go low. Mike swings low, she jumps, uh, she ducks and twists in the air, and then you just manage to connect for a metric shit ton of damage in the air as she flies backwards. Swanzilla's gonna try to thrash come back to her. Yeah, I think that'll do. Swanzilla takes a bite out of her and starts to just spin. It's like a fucking crocodile death roll before <laughs> throwing her back on the ground. She touches down. Willow, you're go. All right. Ass kicking her. <laughs> She's on the ground. She's on the fucking ground. Okay, go for it. You raise up your leg and she's gonna clash. She rises up to try to catch you. She brings up both of your arms and you hear a snap as you break both of your body's arms with one ax kick. She takes a wound and rolls backwards. She's going to activate something. Uh, we go <clears throat> square up. <clears throat> she raises a palm and sort of gestures to you. <clears throat> This next attack will be a clash automatically. She gets a 3d6 bonus on it. Anyone can square up. If you don't, she will freak out and attack everyone in range. Oh, I'm squaring up. <laughs> okay, that was a fast turn. Start of the next act. Here go, Willow. All right, Willow is going to leap in for the fight and start squaring up as well. Oh, you got my stances too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a clash, Willow. Let's do complex. Right. This is the moment you feel it. It's drawing <laughs> out. Oh! Willow, your attack travels one to the other. You clench your fist, and you feel the fire start to lick around the inside of it. And then you see her do the same exact thing. And you both deck each other full force as your bodies lock in place and then grasp the earth is like, don't worry, one big difference between the two of us. I've got your back. And your stance remains supreme. And you let out a roar as all at once, a concussion of flame flies. She moves clear, departing. She flies through the fire, burning a hole straight through it and carving a hole in the ground. She slides forward, bouncing a few times. And Willow, the flames slowly exit your body. She's no longer moving. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I hope I didn't mess her up too bad. <laughs> uh, I, I I can I can go see the first aid. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure everybody else is fine. Boom! The entire battleship explodes as a wave of water carries you all away. And then, what happened in the remaining time after this encounter? 
could only be described as Opie's greatest cleanup duty to date. The efforts put in not only by Treble, who came down from the world above, but uh, <clears throat> all the Opia members currently stationed here went to reconstituting the environment. Eternity vanished in that moment, disappearing somewhere, uh, disappearing to somewhere else. Whether you retreat, uh, forced him to retreat or got him, that's still left to be decided. But another reality sets in. <clears throat> now, with Eternity gone and Stein theoretically safe, you all have one step left ahead of you. One important goal, an attack yet to be planned. Your group managed to hold on pretty hale and hearty through this entire adventure. The wounds aren't too bad. There's a few people to see to. There's a destroyed town to pick up after, but, well, for now, you feel it. Contentment, it spreads through your body. Willow, Belleth is safe. Your home is safe. There are a few more craters than there were before. There's a new waterfall where your house used to be, but for now, it all still hangs together. Verona sort of moves into the area like, okay, everyone, good job, squad. Pats Argos on the back. Nice work with the rocket launcher and stuff. Trouble, oh my God, I'm so happy to see you. Hello, Verona. <clears throat> Turns over, looks at Willow. <laughs> Willow. Yes, Dr. Verona? Um, she genuinely, like, gives you a very sensitive, like, warm smile. I'm happy you managed to... I'm happy you were able to show your homeland the hero you've become. You feel utter warmth spread from her. She is so fucking proud of you. Dr. Rhoda, I'm really <laughs> happy, and I cannot feel my arms. <laughs> right, yes, of, of course. Um, well, we'll address wounds and then figure out the next step of the plan. Hey, Ace. Yeah? Your flame's low and you've been looking for List. You haven't been able to find her anywhere. strangest damn thing. She was right behind you, like, through most of this. In fact, she crapped you when you rushed off to 1v1 the big guy, but right now, she appears to be gone. Hmm. <laughs> she, you, you sort of think to yourself, I mean, there are other sources of flame, but uh, is this a concern at the front of your mind? That list isn't here right now? Yeah. Probably. Hmm. When list goes off and does something by themselves, it usually means that they're doing something bigger than what's happening right now. You focus on this and sort of tap your foot and you feel the agitation spread. And then uh, your comms go off and you expect to see list's name. It isn't list ace. Uh, you look down at it, and uh, the name on it is, uh, of course, Riddle Arndite. Mm. Hello? You pick it up. Hey! Uh, Ace, um, it, are you with everybody else now? Is yeah. Is like, a good time? I didn't I'm... want to bother Treble if she was, like, lifting a, lifting a countryside or something. Um... Treble has turned around. You look <laughs> at her. And you see her whispering something into Verona's ear that you can only assume is, Hey, did you notice that Riddle isn't here? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, uh, when has bothering people ever stopped you in the first place? It usually doesn't. Um, I just wanted to check in and make sure that, like, everything was going good back over there. Yeah, everything's good. What did you get yourself into? I d I'm not getting myself into anything. I'm fulfilling a promise right now. Yeah, what promise? It's the promise I made to uh, Argos's partner, your d training disciple or whatever. Uh, Mike, of course. Yeah? I made a promise a little while ago. Uh, of, well... <sighs> Mike came to me to ask for a favor. 
she so you can't get mad at her i guess or you wouldn't get mad at mike right you're not a monster right <laughs> that voice echoes out okay it depends did mike do something that would be upsetting to me well mike came to a little bit of a personal realization that if there's a problem maybe she should, she should speak up about it and for mm -hmm. some reason i'm the confidant that she uh, decided to speak up to so uh she mm -hmm. registered a problem with me, and I'm going yeah. to go solve it. What are you, HR? Uh, what does HR stand for? Uh, human Resources, but I... Hot you... Roma and... Th that's why you're <laughs> going to be a bad HR. <laughs> she pauses, and she's like, so, uh, long story short, um... <clears throat> uh, do you know any, like, good places to eat around Gravnir's side? <laughs> List starts to walk ahead. I've got to make sure. I made a promise. Um, Mike seems to be kind of worried about... Ah, uh, just a shitty reception. God, she takes another step back. Mike seems to be worried about Ace in general, you in general. And I said, don't worry about it. He can handle it. And if he can't handle it, I'll handle it. So this is me handling it. Hi, I'm calling you from handling it. Is there a good restaurant over here? <laughs> Riddle. Yes. Just make sure he's doing okay. She smiles. <laughs> and quietly hangs up the phone. She adjusts her vacation, her sunglasses, and starts walking. Is like, well, we kind of lucked out. Oh, how so? Sounds like they're cleaning up. Oh, really? Yeah, I managed to duck the entire fight, show up at the last second, steal all the glory, and then duck out before cleanup. So, honestly, massive win for me. She says, like, moving forwards, uh, your girlfriend's back there. You don't feel any sense of remorse. Do you? She thinks. No, not right now. They can enjoy janitorial duty. So, what restaurant did he recommend us to? Whoa, there's like a list. <laughs> Riddle looks down as the two of them move into the wastelands of Gravnir. Next week, folks, we're doing the Gravnir arc. This week, however, enjoy your hard-earned victory. You're the fucking best. Let's fucking go. Holy <laughs> shit, that was a boss <laughs> battle. Jeez. Oh my uh, fucking that... god. You guys are so much less dead than I thought you would be. Yeah, I thought you would be way more brain. dead. Look at all look, the ones eternity rolled. Oh my I god. I say, look, when me and Tiny say, we'll handle it, we fucking mean we handle <laughs> Dude, it. I'm also, genuinely... Brennan handled it, and also, yeah. Jackson also handled yeah. it. You guys <laughs> handled it. Yeah, legit, you guys, are, you guys are the best. Be proud of yourselves. I designed a genuinely unfair boss. You did a good job circumventing yeah. everything. For good job <laughs> fighting. Next step is actually winning body. that fight. Yeah, next up yeah, is yeah, actually winning the fight. You got you got through the first wound. So yeah. I'm very proud of you. You did it. Yeah. You got you got through 99 HP. Good job. Um genuinely great yeah. work. Next time it's winning. But like fuck it, man. You got the, you gotta start. Y'all are the best. Uh yeah. I, Brennan, we're gonna address what the fuck's happening with you soon. <laughs> What did you do? Don't worry about it. It's, it's real Brennan hours. <laughs> yeah. And, and, <laughs> wait, you know what hours it is now? Uh, what? fan art hours. Can I get some fan September creatures in the chat? Can I uh, get some fucking September creature? Can you flood uh, the chat with some fucking creatures? Yeah. Thank you, uh, Dark Wolf <laughs> for putting together this Imgur. First off, from Rion. We got a buddy and buddy so cash. Oh. This is how yeah. fucking win. And then, uh, we have uh, a work in progress from Rion, uh, Argos, and Dofio. So Looks so oh. yeah. uh, ah. Argos, 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 Then we have a poster from, uh, Fuck yes. Dungeon Master Zero. Uh, and then, and then oh we have, God, so uh, bad. from BH Behemoth, uh, <laughs> do, do not acknowledge the creature. <laughs> Get back up there and acknowledge it. Uh, oh <laughs> pretty slow week. <laughs> Nothing's happening back home. God, <laughs> God. Well, be a crazy time for a prison break right now. Anyway. God, damn it! Yeah, fucking Riddle's been stuck in the cube for like uh, years. Riddle, 
Riddle refused to engage with the cube. She was a much poorer sport than Argos. Yeah, <laughs> but it's the, you know it's the it's like the trial. She was still there for a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute how you think that wasn't even a tenth of my fishing, fishing knowledge. knowledge. <laughs> a strange combination of feeling respect yet seething rage. Yeah. yeah that's about. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> and then uh, fishing from oh. fishing. Attorney fishing Willow and Saru. Get him, Willow. Not <laughs> me! <laughs> you get a D6. You get a D6. You get a D6. You get a D6. Everybody gets a D6! Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Casually rolling a fucking 61. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you support list. Yeah. Support, support, support women's wrongs. Yeah. <laughs> That's <Truly>. all right. <laughs> Dungeon, from Dungeon Master Zero. I see myself as human. Isn't that enough? Oh, Damn. God. Minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. Yeah, yeah, the fucking <laughs> yeah. I, had, uh, I wonder if I have negative 20 affinity with him now. Yeah. This guy can't see or hear shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh my god, Willow using him as a weapon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can almost hear you. Damn. Uh, oh, that's bomb, dude. Yeah, God! Parasite. Man. Dude, he spent 90% of that fight in karate stance just punching you. Not what I yeah. expected from the wizard. <laughs> yeah. God, when we have to actually fight his wizardness. Uh, you mispronounced paramedic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I love that. Right now. Where, do you, where do you see yourself in five years? Deja vu. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, more eternity. Yeah. I'm glad zero. people are appreciating the the problem man. Then we got a Bowser. Oh, <laughs> oh four. Yeah, and then a, then a random boar encounter. Random boar. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> too for too long. I don't want to it really yeah. hasn't. Poor nectar. <laughs> Truth bomb. Yeah. <laughs> I was just yelling at him for the first half of the fight. <laughs> nice. Oh, very nice. Oh, my then God. I we low. We low. Nice. Eternity. Eternity. Yeah, bro! List. Nice. Fuck yeah, Lord. Oh, wait. That's, that's a say, crazy. not eternity. Yeah. Damn, I mean, fair, honestly. Fair, yeah, fair yeah. mistake. Yeah. Honestly, you can't even identify yeah. frog. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a real I'm not a yeah. I'm not a real creature fan. There's Argos. Oh fuck yeah. And then Verona with her normal ass gun. Normal ass gun. Yeah. It, 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 I love the stage of seeing Verona use her turn reflection. It's like, why do you need the gun? She yeah. does it. He just likes it. Fuck this guy specifically? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hard agree. Send Put him the in the box. Send, Send him, him to the cube. Send the gamer to the gamer enrichment chamber. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> then we got an eternity. Oh my god. A Dillard. Oh my god. There oh, she is. Oh, Dillard, finally. There she is. Someone should fucking punch her. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then that. Don't worry. And then there's the poster. <laughs> Oh, uh, and then, so uh, so uh, finally, let me, let me, let me get this on, on screen for peeps. We have, uh, a last one in the, uh, Discord, uh, from a huge inner world fan. Yeah! Yeah, let's go! Lovely. Yeah. There we go. Oh, Fuck right. yeah! Yeah! Uh, I want to thank you all for coming out. I want to thank you all for subscribing and getting your September creature for the month of September. Yeah, thank you for uh, yeah. I want to. I want to thank you all for joining the official Discord with the link that I'm posting in chat, and you can find it down in the YouTube description as well. Uh, and also recommending that you, you, I point to you, support the Sentiment TTRPG Patreon to support this show and also the system that Jay makes. Uh, help Jay buy uh, throat medicine. Oh God! Thumbs up. Oh yeah. Uh, and yeah, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yo, oh. thank you so much for putting the game together. Yeah. Thank you. Also, pointed brand, you know what you do. 
Yeah. Aloha, thank you so much for streaming. Thank you yeah. all for playing. Thank you all for watching. Have yeah. a good night, squad. Bye. 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 Good night, Bye. Bye. Bye.